Hello. Chat, who their favorite saints are? Oh. Party. This is party dungeon. Yeah, that's it. Something like Bumped that, yeah. It up. I... <laughs> End the stream. Oh, Start it over. Cancel. Showed up again. Yeah, um, okay. <laughs> to read my camera. What's up? We're Dungeon Party. We're here. We play D and D. Uh, let me know if the sound balance is good. I changed my microphone because I watched the last vod and you could just hear fucking motorcycles the entire goddamn time. So, um, your motorcycles right now. Zoom zoom. That's just in your brain. Yeah, that's just right. Now. <laughs> I know, I right don't. up in that <laughs> noggin. Um. So. Music is a little loud. Thank you, Elliot. I can always count. We just on need to project more. Yeah, we just gotta yell. We gotta blow out our mics. It'll make my life easier later. Don't um, make me do it. <laughs> please don't. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna play Dungeons and Dragons. It's the, only the third session of this campaign, and that's my fault. <laughs> it feels like I've known y'all forever. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna you know do, do the thing. Um, oh, I have my character sheet, you know? That's a good idea. I don't need it. That's off, what I'm looking for. Does anybody have any announcements that they'd like to make? Michael, I think you had a question for chat. Um, well, my announcement is I knew ha I have a new favorite saint. Her name is Saint Olga. Look her up. She killed a lot of people sent and had a lot of fl flaming birds. Who's your favorite saint, chat? We want to know. I want to know. Any other we... important announcements? Oh, Peter? Can, can, can we make new saints? Like, is there a saint of Twitch chat? Eh, uh, the saint of Twitch chat. The patron chat. The patron That's saint. Ricky. Ricky, Ricky is the, the saint, saint of Twitch, Twitch chat. chat. That's... Patron saint of Twitch he chat. Was, he was canonized think... after saving us from the robot army. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, anybody else have any big announcements? Or saints that they would like to canonize? Because we do have that power here. On <laughs> we have that power. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for not bringing the bots this time, OG Frog people. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, if there's other, none other, if there's none other announcements, um, I guess I can say look forward to the other streams we're gonna do this week. Michael and I are gonna do Resident Evil, and it's gonna be really cool because we just met that horrible little man, and we're gonna get to interact with him. And when I say Remote we, I mean Salazar. Michael, and I'll be there because I, I die every time he hands me the controller. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and some other fun stuff will be happening, so look forward to it. But, um, for now, we're gonna play D&D, &D, and it's gonna be rad. And we're gonna have a fun time, I hope. Um, yeah, alright, let's jump in. Let me remind you guys what happened, and also remind myself, because it's been a while. Uh, alright, so, last time on Dungeon Party Bright Futures, everybody's at school, yay. Um, after a jaunt out into the woods, uh, where they met a strange boy who called himself Elias, uh, with ice skin and antlers, um, they are, our, our motley crew of students slash heroes, um, were more or less grounded, um, given a curfew because they broke the rules on their very first night there, um, and they're no longer allowed to leave their house after 8 p.m. <laughs> Um, they then went to their first day of classes, uh, in their tactics class, some swords and a training dummy sprung to life and attacked them, um, which didn't seem to be part of their instructor Brom's plan. Um, in their academics class, they were given an assignment where they have to look up their people's history, um, and present it all the way back to the days of barbarism, if possible, um, due in two days. So they went to the library and started doing that. Turns out... A couple of them can't really read, <laughs> so <laughs> um, see how that one ends up going. And then finally, uh, they had their diplomacy class or politics class or whatever I call it. Um, and who knows? I'm I'm only the DM. It's not like I knew, need to know these things. Uh, I think it was called diplomatic immunity. I don't think it was, but it should I'm be. I'm sure it was. <laughs> um, where they learned uh, about you know different ways to sway people and also egged a, a rich dude who didn't like it very much multiple times yeah. if i remember correctly uh, he got, he's, he's taken two eggs to the head um, um afterwards they you know kept studying got some food just you know basic slice of life school day stuff before going home oh actually this is important uh the chef um uh promised to give i know why you're laughing peter some alcohol 
if Septon could go get a very specific mushroom out of the forest for him um, that night. So that's how that's that's where we ended off as everybody around 8 p.m. made their way back to the house. Um, Johnson came to guard you guys, um, and that's where we'll pick up as Johnson is sort of just like leaning in through the window and he says, <sighs> um, "So you did good last night. Just you know, keep doing that, and we're not gonna have any issues." <sighs> any issues um sounds good i mean you don't have like a, a quiet hour or a lights off or anything you're free to do whatever you want inside the house but just like you can't leave um thanks guys i'm gonna i'll be right out front i mean like steps away from the window good night yeah, good morning <sighs> um i'm gonna go to bed and i want to wake up at five well before that, <laughs> oh. um, as as Johnson leaves, you hear the singing, the tenor, the beautiful tenor voice that you know belongs to Elias begin from the woods. Uh, Does it? Nice. How long after he leaves? Before he leaves? Like he he walks away, and like a couple seconds later, it starts. He oh, doesn't. So react I'm not even to in, it. not even in bed yet. Dang. Yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't react to it in any way, though. <clears throat> Johnson doesn't um, seem to hear. So, am I the only one who hears the singing? It's every, everybody can hear it now. Just Well, that's why I'm asking. Yeah, I, I know, know but just asking. so everybody can oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Remember, he's been hearing things. Who knows why? I've been hearing a lot of strange things since coming here. <laughs> no, I can hear it, man. Yes, I can hear the singing as well. We it, last time. This, it, it sounds like the singing that we heard um, in the woods from... Uh, the blue man group, the blue, the blue guy. Like, like, uh, oh. yeah. um, what's this? What's this sound like? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right with the. Mm-hmm. Oh, the song. Mm-hmm. Michael, trying to sing how the Black Clover song goes because it's that. <laughs> oh God, it's, it, it sounds. Well, it's, I think it sounds bad. <laughs> it kind of sounds of like. When a creator is trying to make a song that sounds unearthly beautiful, but they just make it sound weird and bland. <laughs> is it the opening to Black Clover? Um, no, opening it's, 10? It's, oh. No, the opening is are good. Um, no, it, it, it's not. That was a joke. It, it's sort of oh. ethereal and hard to describe. It's, it's, it's sort of like a, a wandering melody that weirdly fits in with the sound of the night. I need I... you to sing it for my immersion. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, dude, uh... I sang for Winfield last night, and he got mad at me. It was, it I was, it was not good. Anymore, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never All singing right, for anyone again. It's very bad. Can I, um, Septon, Septon's gonna go to his room and get his, uh... I have a musical instrument. I'm a bard. Um... um pan flute is what it says on my character sheet, so... I'm gonna get my pan flute and attempt. Just call it what it is. It's a bong. We all know. <laughs> Listen, one of the pipes might operate as a bowl, <laughs> but the others are there. Um, uh, I'm gonna attempt to play along right. with uh, with the melody. Make a performance check. Dice. I knew I forgot something. All right, hang on. Here we go. Um, that's a 12. 12. It's not, I mean, it's not bad. You can't really, because it's not a song that, like, has a chorus or any really recognizable structural elements, so it's hard Mm. to follow along with it. Um, but when you, like, catch a certain bit of it, you can, like, on and off play along well with it. Yeah, also, Peeves makes a good point. Your hands are fried from the... It's greasy from the fried whale, so it's it's a little tough to play. Ah, yes, that's true. Just There's also, yeah, like, three-fourths of a fried whale sitting on the kitchen table downstairs. <laughs> uh, Blake, when we saw... Um, so did we see the stag and then the boy? Did we never see them in the same room? You didn't... What do you mean? No, the Sorry. stag and the boy were together. There was there was a deer. It wasn't a stag. Yeah. Um, oh. uh, there was a deer laying injured right next to Elias. Okay. 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 
It wasn't fancy. Yeah. Did you say it's the boy had antlers? Boy did have antlers. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Um, Tether is going to try to tap her hands on the table like drums. Okay, make a performance check. <laughs> Wouldn't you know, I have a negative one in performance. <laughs> no, really? So that's a two. It's not even a little bit. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to do... Do that thing where, where her body is like... Like, trying to keep the beat as well, but it's just looking like a spasm. Uh... Like a baby dancing to music! Yeah, like baby dancing. <laughs> so, I... Uh, hmm, alright. <clears throat> do we, we do anything about the singing, or...? Sounds fine. We are last, doing something! Last time we heard the singing, we, um... Well, did we hear this thing, or we just noticed that, uh... You guys didn't until you got closer, but... Right. Tyler well, he did say... Did he did say or... something about, um... He's just doing his little ritual. Right, and he said that no matter how far away we are, we can hear it as long as we are pure of heart. Or something. Yeah. Or good people. Polite. Smart. Um... Handsome. <laughs> charming. I feel okay. Never mind. Um, also, so one of the scholars asked me, and I kind of like peek over to see if Johnson. What's his name? Johnson. Yeah, Johnson. Johnson and Johnson. Private Willie Johnson. For a second, Johnson. because you call, because you said he was looked like Tommy Walters. I almost said Jeremus from uh, wow. Wholesome Campaign. Wow. <laughs> so many years ago. Um, I was like, so. Uh, is he there? Is he in? He's earshot? he's he's standing in front of the door, facing away from you, heavily leaning on the spear that he has in his hand. Like he's like got it in his elbow and he's like leaning on it. There's wait, is our door open? No, your door's closed, but there's a window you can okay. go. Uh, oh, okay. There's like I'm, I'm this still... slight sound of snoring coming from it. Oh, okay. Just to be safe, I'm still just gonna lean in and be like, so like, one of the scholars asked me. If I see a bluish stag or something, what did she ask me? Something like, yeah. Oh yeah, if I want to know about some sort of icy stag. Well, we didn't we I, didn't see a blue stag. It was a normal deer. I kn no, right? but then the our friend in the woods has ice magic and has antlers. Um, so you think there might be a connection? Just, yeah, and just because of what... Um, uh, Colrill was saying about, like, we need to be careful who we give information to, and weird things are already happening. I just think maybe we should keep it to ourselves. But what yeah. do you guys think? Um, sure, when right. we say keep it to ourselves, um, do we just mean, um, uh, humanoids, or if I already told all the plants on campus, is that bad? You've already told all the plants? Yeah. Every single one. I don't think anyone else on campus can talk to plants, so um, I think it'll be fine. Cool. Because they're gossipy. Right. Right. I know that grass. <laughs> Gossip. Well, okay, and I turn to... Uh, Shandi and uh, Septon. What do you guys think? <laughs> our, two, our two people over here are just like, let the grass is gossiping with each other. Well, to be fair, I have met some very untrustworthy plants in my day. Okay, Shandi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Shandi. <laughs> Shandi is like, like Shandi is like doing weapon maintenance as usual. He's like, mm, yes, huh? What? <laughs> what were we discussing? Okay. The, 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 <laughs> Something right. about plants, I heard. Okay, so then for now, let's just keep our and our interaction with Elias to ourselves. Sorry. Right. Yes. If you I'll think help that, roses. That's fair enough. Don't see why not. Maybe like just let our our little group know if like more scholars start asking about it. Like, well, what do scholars know anyway? Right. I did. I didn't even know scholars were on this campus. 
Like, you saw them in the library. I don't think he knows the word scholars. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, you say I like to say intellectuals get things wrong all the time, and so you should always be skeptical. You think this guy is like asking about Elias? Well, well, well it's a. I, th I believe she's a she, but. Um, oh, oh, okay. No, it's it's fine. I didn't say it, but um, yeah, I I think so. She said something about uh, they've um. I highlighted this. Ah, um, uh, she wants to know about some sort of icy stag that belong to a guard from Renarcia. And Do you think Elias belonged sort... to a guard from Renarcia? I, I don't know. But, like, I don't know. But we literally met an icy boy with antlers, and then suddenly a scholar is asking me about, hey, have you seen an icy stag? And also, Colrill has been like, careful who you give information to, and just other weird things happening. And it is, what, day two? What is Renarcia? Okay. Yeah, I was about to ask. Who's Renarcia? <laughs> Can't they just ask them? No, it's not. Uh, also, it's also sorry, another... I gave you the wrong word. It's Carleonan guard. Renarcia is the uh. continent you're on. Oh. <laughs> yeah. How do you care? I have a map. Who's Carleonan? Can't the scholar just ask them about their stag? That's a very big place. Oh. Carely. Carely. How do I say Care that? Carely. It's Bigger. like a huge country. Oh. Like a huge mass of land. So a probably multiple like, guards to ask. Like a couple of days to travel across? Oh, oh yeah. I mean, everybody, anybody who wants to can make a make a history check about the word Carleone or a guard. Yeah. Well, I've been on this no. plane of existence for about a week. You, so can, you can make that check as well, because it's something you all heard, because I said it to you. All right. All right. Not natural 20. Nice. Five. Fifteen. Fourteen. All right. The 20, the 15, and the 14 all remember that your guard captain, Captain Sheena, used to be a guard in the Carleone military. Interesting. I mean, Casimir, uh, Casimir Orion was a Carleone noble who asked her to come be the head guard at this program, and she accepted. Hmm. Yes, Tether. Um, can I just, um, I've been like, um, um, I'm, I, I feel, I'm starting to feel a little comfortable with you guys. So I'm just going to do something that I hopefully you guys don't freak out. And so she's just like relaxes a little bit. You, you, she apparently, she, you haven't noticed she's been kind of super tense this entire time and she's untensed a little bit. And then a huge plume of spores just release out from all over her. Um, what? Uh, this is just here most of the time, and um, I was just like holding them in. <coughs> so is that um, because like... it seems weird. Right. Is that like dandruff or? Uh... <laughs> it looks a lot like the uh, what's his what's his name from uh, from Peanuts with this dust cloud around him all the time. Like that's oh, it's, like, it's like ten feet around me all the time. Yeah. So should we like not mm. breathe that stuff in? Or... Oh no, they only go inside someone if I want them to. Ah. Okay. What? What? Someone. So don't please don't worry. I can still I can hold them in more if you want. Um, it's just a little um, more comfortable this way. Oh, that's fine. Then do it if you're comfortable. But so can we like all agree though? We're not yeah, no. I, yeah, I, it's not Sandra. We can keep I, stuff quiet. Elias will be our little secret. Yeah. Wait, what is the secret? The dandruff? I no. will keep that secret too. Okay, so because it's not dandruff. I it's know. spores. Right. I'm really curious. Um, How are you making spores? Usually it's just wee little mushrooms that produce such things. 
Um, in your head. You do look like a wee little mushroom, so I... I it in, it no, makes no, sense. No, no, Turn, in your head, you hear the voice saying, that's not a very nice thing to ask a lady. <laughs> um... <laughs> Pardon me, mess. <laughs> I meant no offense. Hey, Phoenix, I just have to ask, does your coffee mug say be our guest on it? Yeah, it was my gift from, I assistant directed Beauty and the Beast out of high school. This was their gift to me. Can you do a Lumiere impression just for one second, real quick? <laughs> for the record, it was better than Muhlenberg's. Ah, uh, well, not- <laughs> uh, I'm not surprised. Uh, yeah, what does Lumiere say? Um, he says be our guest, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, but that's like... I need like a better line than that. I don't, I'll think about it. She's been, right. She was big this Something like that. Let us know when you're ready for the Lumiere impression, and we'll, we'll stop everything. <laughs> I'll do the whole number. <laughs> don't say that and, and not expect me to hold you to it. Uh, I don't know, maybe. <clears throat> uh, this thing change in me. What? Bell. What's that bell. One? Oh, the one that Bell sings? That's, you know. That's a good song. It is whole. That's the other one. Right. Well, this is a mistake. <laughs> I told y'all he could sing. Are we supposed to be playing D&D? &D? No. Um, speaking of singing, as this conversation uh -oh. that you're having is sort of winding down or reaching this weird position, um, the song, Elias' song, is abruptly cut off. Sounds as though whoever was singing it, their mouth was covered. There's a bit of a muffled note and then nothing. Um, did you hear that? Mm -hmm. That yes. didn't sound great. Should we go? Problem. Should we go? Um, should we go check it out? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it'll be pretty easy. Um, Johnson's asleep, and we can exit from the back. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Like, is anyone watching the other side of our house? There's no back door. There's only back windows. There's a back porch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have to go around to it, though. There's no door onto the back porch. There's no door onto the porch. Nope. Um, tether. I designed this specifically on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> tether. Okay. Do you have a grasshopper in that hat of yours? Yeah, I do. Great. Could I have it? Forever? <laughs> um, yes. Does your spell consume the material? <laughs> um, sh okay, sh sure. Anything for a friend. I'll go get Callum. Uh oh. She runs I'll... upstairs. Got a name. Goodbye, Callum. Callum's about to get exhausted for a spell component. <laughs> <laughs> Comes back a little grasshopper. Here you go. Tether, remember that thing you were saying about how the weak, no, the the weak must be eaten for a strong to survive. Yeah. Do you want to kill him right now? Not right now, but I might eat this one. Okay. All right. Great. Thanks. I thought you'd be okay with it, but I'll uh, I'll find you one to replace him. <laughs> to be honest, sometimes when they get a little overpopulated, and I'm a little hungry. Eat them too. Yeah. <laughs> right. I crumb, I crumb. just have to ask because neither of you have said it outright. What? Did you two know each other before? No, we just get along no. really well. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Who would have guessed? All right. The drain, the ranger, and the druid. <laughs> they get along <laughs> swimming like <laughs> wild. <laughs> um. So here's what I'm thinking: if we need a distraction. I can use Callum here and get myself up on the roof. So I don't know, maybe like go out there and jump around and be like, ooh, here I am. Johnson, come and get me. Or How are you doing this then? Well, I'll catch up with you later. How far, say... is the, how far is the cabin from the lake? Cabin's like right up on the lake. Like you got the porch and then you got a little bit of shore and then the lake. All right. Well, I'm not going to wear my armor. It'll slow me down. Um... Johnson is asleep. He's, he's straight right. up asleep right now. Let's just try sneaking out the... From back the back window. window. I... Alright, through the back... The bathroom window, which is the ground floor window. Um, 
in this area, you can try to sneak out. Let's get snelf 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 checks. Snelf checks. Let's have a finally a good roll. Natural uh, 20. twenty. You, it's silent as a snail. Make your way on out through the. Through the I also 22. have a flaccid twenty. Two flaccid twenties. Yeah, you're good. Three. Three. <laughs> Everybody got above a twenty. <laughs> Three. So well, am Johnson I last? Got a what two order on his percentage? Oh. Check, so. He oh, I got hope a 19 so. and a 2 and he rolled a disadvantage because he's fucking asleep, so. Um, it's gotta be a sleep passive perception, right? Yeah. It's uh, like a zero. rule for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, he, yeah. All right. You, like, all of you make it out super quick, super smoothly, super easily. Turn goes last. He steps up onto, like, your chamber pot, and the lid of, the lid of it, like, slides off to the side, like, slams into the back, and makes a clanging noise, which sends him falling forward, like, landing, like, shoulder first, making a big oof sound oh. as he falls outside. <laughs> You'll take, like, a minute, and you hear a snore coming from the front of the house, and you know you're safe. <sighs> We're gonna have to clean that up when we get back. Yeah, he got the poopy foot. <laughs> it was the lid. Right. The lid slipped. Yeah, but the All lid right, slipped. I see the pot going the other way. <laughs> you know? um, we could use the indoor is uh, uh, as indoor Did fertilizer if we want to grow it inside terrarium. I thought we all pooped outside anyway. No, I did. Right. Oh yeah. Speaking of terrariums, uh, we I'm sure I'm glad we watered Peter too really well. Yeah, Peter two is looking really good. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Remember you died. I... We had to regrow you from scratch. <laughs> because, don't worry about it. That's canon. Uh, we're hang on. Hang on. I want to let you in on that. Because uh, sorry, it's really Wait. difficult. Every time we make a new Peter, it gets really uncomfortable. But um, <laughs> I'm so unclear. On this a bit. Of horror shit. Anyway, uh, the new Peter is looking great. We'll see what. We'll see if he can function during combat. <laughs> I'm very unclear as to what's going on it's okay yeah. it's okay so was the previous peter but it'll all make sense in time <laughs> uh, <sighs> anyway yeah you're out you're out you're out back all right let's um what how do you think we should proceed should we just skirt around to the gate uh, and to the edge of the wall and try to sneak through the lake or that worked pretty well last time let's do that's that that's what i did that's what i'm thinking all right i swam a little bit yeah, you, Sounds good. you uh, sneak around, and you notice that the side gates, while closed, are not being guarded from the inside this time. It seems like since there aren't so many high-priority um, people on campus, and it's kind of just you guys, um, mm -hmm. the guard presence is thinner in certain places. Nice. So oh, like also, before we go, and I, she, like, Tether reaches in her little sack and gives everyone two berries. Well, thank you. What are these Just for? in case if things are in, like, if you're feeling a little um, hurt, or if you, someone goes down or front, um, in front of you, force feed them one of those, and um, they'll be okay. It's good, Barry. Each oh, Barry gives you one HP. So we all have two. That's a good Barry. All right, so yeah, you're 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 at, you're at this gate, and you can you can easily sort of skirt around the side, like the lake side of it. Your 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 feet get a little wet, but it's it's not too bad. Um, and yeah, you're 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 home free, or I guess forest free. Anyway, um, ah, yeah, back in the forest. Yeah, you make your way back, and you hit the um the same the same start of the forest. You notice the tree that um Tether was trying to climb up last time you were here last night. Oh, yo, guys, while we're out here, I'm looking for these, like, blue mushrooms. Oh, which type, which shade of blue? Perhaps right. Should, um, hurry to where we think the, uh... Yeah, 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 that's important, but, like, no, no, is it a cat mushroom or more of a... It's the okay. night bloom mushroom? I'd be happy to help I'm you find some. I'm go ahead and give you advantage on a nature check to know what that is, Michael. Uh, twenty-one. Yeah, you you know what that is. You know exactly what they look like and where they where they tend to grow. Yeah. Okay. We'll find that. Oh, b before after we do the other thing, unless we th think we can get mushrooms real quick. Or if, no, no. If we run into it on the way, only if it's convenient. We gotta go check on our boy. Okay. I, <laughs> I wanna try and uh, 
use different tracking methods to find our boy. Sure. Go for it. Make a survival check. Right. That's B O I. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, and we're in the forest. Which means I get double proficiency. Oh. Ten. Ten. Happy terrain. Ten total. <laughs> Ten total. Train. Roll to five. Favorite train. Um. Uh. Yeah. Not a whole lot. There's definitely all sorts of tracks through this forest, but none that you can recognize as his. You also don't know what sort of tracks he leaves. So. Um. Okay. Also, if we are tracking, although I don't think this is either one of those, but for future reference, if yeah. I'm tracking a elf or a dwarf, I have advantage. From favorite enemy. Oh, makes sense. Okay, you're not, but yeah. Are the trees still not talking to me? Do you want to or talk the grass? To the trees? Yeah. The oh, trees I have... this time are terrified. Ooh. Hello. They're oh, no. like they're they're scared to the point of uh, silence. Whereas last time they weren't talking to you because. They were just sort of confused. This time they're like scared and they're worried that if they communicate with each other, things will go poorly. And to that end, as you as you realize this, um, you notice there's no animal sounds anywhere. The forest is silent as death. Um, what is it, Tether? What are the trees saying this time? They're very scared. Excuse, like, if, excuse me, if you can tell me what's happening or where Elias is, we can probably try to fix something. Um, um, I know they might not seem um, competent, but um, they're really nice. Um, and, make um, a persuasion check at disadvantage. Disadvantage. Well, I rolled a 19 and a 13 with the negative one modifier. It's not enough to get them to talk to you, but you, you do get the general sense of the direction, a direction that you're, they point you in. Okay. This way. All right. Let's just be extra careful, guys. I'm always careful. That's yeah, scary. everyone would be really careful. Um, the mushrooms usually grow under roots of um, trees that are um, have unearthed. And so if you see a blue um, uh, mushroom, uh, oh, you're talking, yeah, be careful about that. Um, but also if you see the mushroom, tell something. Um, yeah. so it's just like a replay of a uh, turn tripping over the chamber pot right after he said. I'm always careful. <laughs> I'm always careful. <laughs> um, make another, another stealth check, please, from everyone. Uh, Blake, we haven't rested since the fight with the dummies, right? You're, okay, you're, well, you're healed to full, but you're... Yeah, I just... I, I just can't shift then. <laughs> I... Can you see? Oh, shit! Two natural 20s in a row! Nice, dude. 16 from me. Cool. 16 as well. 11. Right. 9. <laughs> Better. Consistently the least stealthy. It's because it's cause turn walks like the Jimmy Neutron walk. <laughs> <laughs> He's like stomping all over everything. <laughs> Um, no, he walks like Danny from Haunting of Bly Manor. <laughs> Netflix, sponsor us. <laughs> um, yeah, no, the, uh, you feel as though you're moving, you know, fairly stealthily. Not nearly as quietly as most of you got out of the house, but you're, you're, you're going through. Um, you realize you're heading in the, after a little while, you realize you're heading in the same direction you were heading last night towards the same clear. Hmm. All right. You'd think you would have picked a different spot, but <laughs> I don't know about Why rituals. Why always get attacked? I don't know. Well, this seems to have been the first. Um, last night seems to have been the first time. Or maybe oh. he deserves it. No. Oh. I think there's actually. Maybe he's a criminal. Really. Mm. It's all right. I'd. I'd harbor or a maybe a stronger that. force is trying to fight over dominion of this forest. But you said the trees you were You mean scared. like a bear? Like a bear's forest? 
Yeah, sometimes a bear can not a bear can't really own an entire forest. Their hunting and um, hibernation ranges are usually a bit smaller, usually by a river and or cave. What about like um, a mountain lion, they have big range. Mountain lions they have larger ranges because right. they like have to like prowl and hunt for food. So you think um, there's a mountain lion in these woods? There could be. I don't really think so because it's not that mountainous. But it could be um, a smaller big cat, uh, like a bobcat. Or it could be, it's more likely to be a bear in woods, to be honest, but not like a big bear, because these are not the biggest wood. I wouldn't really be afraid of a bobcat anyway, so... Yeah, no, um, I've killed bobcats before. One time, one tried to bite, um, bite me when I was sleeping in a cave, and I just woke up, and I, I, I don't know what happened, but then vines were just going out of its mouth. <laughs> I'm just imagining hmm. Una like just backing into the shadows, <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> like that, uh, like the what is it, Homer Simpson, <laughs> into the bushes. <laughs> um, I sorry, I I need there was an announcement I meant to make at the beginning of this because I opened my notes. Happy birthday! Happens. Happy birthday, Ricky! Hey, that's that's a good announcement, but um, oh, I guessed. Yeah, I it should be said that this campaign is about to get very anime, and we all just need to go with it, all right? <laughs> just don't be mad at me. I Naruto run I into the clearing. <laughs> I did not sign up for this. And to you, that start end, to, you start to hear the opening theme playing of Dungeon Party. <laughs> yeah, the opening theme of <laughs> Symbiotic Entity. <laughs> oh my God. You too. Um, to that end. Una isn't nearly well endowed enough, damn it. <laughs> You're a child. Hey, so this, so this new student talking? shows up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me, yeah. T Tether and Una are not the most stereotypical um, um, anime not like, female protagonists. We're not like other girls. Yeah, we're not like other girls. <laughs> Maybe I just shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> See, here, I, 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 is, that, right. is that what you mean by it's gonna, gonna become more anime? If, if I hadn't said that, you guys would have been made fun of me about how anime this is about to get. But since I said that, now I get to deal with this. So either way, Wait, who, who has the craziest hair? Who has the craziest hair? They're the, they're the main character. We, we, I'm we've orange. Decided, we've already had a running to class with toasted mouth scene. Like, True. Turn already did that. Anyway, right. to that end, as you reach the the clearing where you fought those creepy dogs last time um, and step a little ways into it to see that it's really got nothing in it. You hear a voice. This is a way too creepy song for what's happening right now, dude. Um, we see a titan. Yeah. New transfer student shows up. Yeah, new transfer <laughs> Even bigger. You hear a voice coming from, well, you're not quite sure if it goes, well, hi there. Um, Hello. I... No, fuck you. <laughs> Both of them instantly respond. <laughs> <laughs> um, you look towards the voice, and you can see that there is a figure sitting in the the branches of one of the trees. Um, this figure is uh, a young man with incredibly incredibly pale skin and solid blue eyes, no pupils. His bushy blonde hair is held out of his face by a bright blue ribbon, bright blue ribbon adorned with cartoonish skulls, which contrasts starkly with the rest of his clothes, these being a black leather ensemble that hugs his thin yet lithe body quite snugly. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. Complete with one black leather pauldron attached with a buckle shaped like a laughing bell and with sleeves that are just slightly too long for his arms. Um, as he talks to you, his enunciation is surprisingly clear considering the lollipop sticking out of one side of his mouth and the single fang on the other. I warned you. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> uh, he goes down to you and says, Well, 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 we thought you might show up again. It seems my puppies weren't enough to do the job last time, so now Pell is after the ice kid and I'm here for you. I'm really glad my little sword trick didn't work, though. I wanted to see you for myself. Yeah, your dogs were um, killed, but don't worry. I I want. I asked to uh, um, take some of the meat, but um, I wasn't allowed to. Meat's not... Meat's not a good enough treat for you all. You all deserve sweets. Would you like some? And he like reaches no. his hands into his sleeves no. and pulls out some candies. I like put an arm in front of turn. <laughs> no. Hmm. So, um, are you here to fight us? Cause 
last time you were attacking people, you attacked us with the dogs, and you... Uh, or you is it just like a fun... to answer a question with a question. Is it like a fun game for you or something? Yeah, fun game. That's a good way to put it. Oh, all right. Cool. All right, listen, gang, listen. I'm from the Feywild. <laughs> Meeting You're people... from the Feywild? Meeting people in the forest who offer you sweets, always a bad sign. <laughs> All right? That's Never that's good true. situation from this. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey! Orange What's guy? up? What? Yeah, the Feywild are you from? Are you from the Feywild? Oh. No. Oh, like, around. I travel a lot. Oh. We were kind of roaming, like, roaming around, you know? Oh, okay. Um, have you seen, um, a singing person in these woods? Oh, you mean the icy kid? Don't worry. I... Pell's taking care of him. Right. Where and... would that be? <laughs> if you don't mind. I don't like, don't like, don't like, don't like. Uh -huh. Now, why would I tell you that? Uh, well, I guess I we... could tell you, because you're probably going to die tonight. Excuse we, me? We answered your question, so you gotta answer ours. You didn't answer my question. I said no, I don't want any candy. Yeah, excuse me, I said no. Um, you should really consider um, other alternatives for sweets, because that's not a, those are not of the earth. You have grapes, are, are really good. If you dry them, they become raisins that are very sweet. <laughs> and other berries. You don't um, even know the half of it. <laughs> well, they might not Well, I do know a lot about berries. But... They're gonna return to the earth since you guys don't want them, and he just sort of throws them out in your direction. Okay, guys, we have to kill this guy. What? Well, I'm ready to just leave. I mean, he doesn't seem like he's gonna help us at all, so I'm gonna do my thing and, we... and start walking away. All right, as you start turning around, yeah. you see the candies land on the ground, and where they do, the oh. dead pines and twigs and leaves start shaking and forming into these small little creatures made out of vines and, and twigs. Uh, I so draw my sword. You, you sort of look around and you notice that they are, in fact, all around you. Let me show you that map. Hi. Nope. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Stop. Hi. <laughs> Da 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 no. So he's the the bell guy up in the up in the I don't think bell. we're on the the no. bell I'm not out here. You should oh, be. I see. Oh, Ding not. dong. Ding right, dong. Right, dong. There's so yeah. many of them. Ah, uh, oh and yes. All those little guys are the ones that he the just about made to these hands. out of his candy. Um <laughs> As he turns, as you turn to walk away, he says, oh, not so fast. Pell would get real mad at me if I let you leave. So you're going to stay here and play with me. And don't worry, if you survive long enough, I'll give you a special treat. Uh, and then he takes the lollipop out of his mouth and sticks it into the tree he's sitting on. Um, the tree immediately <clears throat> sort of shakes and, and turns and these like purple markings just <clears throat> burst down its sides and the bark <laughs> splits open to reveal sort of a horrifying, like, gaping mouth and two angry eyes that, like, groans and curls over around this kid. Good luck! Everybody roll and initiative! I do like that the one blank dog is still down there. Oh, what? Still? <laughs> Oops. Yeah, he's <laughs> right over there. Whoopsies. All right, let me get this set up. For some reason, my initiative thing is not here. Um, did, do you have your campaign tab open? Did Transitioning he tell in combat us... is always a rough experience. Did he tell us his name? He or not? Cool. Just for my notes. Just, I can, for my notes! I can give you his description again. I've got, what do, I've got, young man, solid blue eyes, pale skin, yellow hair, question mark? I heard the word yellow, no. 
blonde. Oh, that's where I got yellow from. Has lollipop and fang. Oh, yeah, that's, that's about right. <laughs> All right, and I need to boom, 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 boom. Woof! <laughs> okay! So he sure got a 20 on his initiative, so he gets to go first. Fuck a display. Um, as is his turn, as the sort of, the sort of tree, like, boom, comes in around him, um, you hear more giggling, and you see more candy, four more pieces of candy, fly out and land, creating more new ones of these. Got really nervous about where that was created for a second. <laughs> it, it, it just pastes, it pastes to center automatically. You become one. No. All right. Septon, you're up. Also, thank you to Elliot, who drew our all of our characters. They so nice, don't they? Yeah. All right. Um. Descended. Hmm. I'm just gonna. Just gonna step over here. And uh, make a make a. Make a little rapier attack. Go for it. One of these fellas. Oh, it rolled to like nineteen and kind of teetered and then rolled to three. So that's that. gonna be a eight to hit. Eight is not enough to hit, unfortunately. Oof. <sighs> no. Um. No. That's it. I'll I'll hold for now. Cool. Um. Sean D. All right, um, I am going to, oh no, um, I guess I'll go up to this one and I'm going to take my rapier attack. Cool. The Twiggy you run past is going to make an attack of opportunity on you. Oh, okay. It's a four. You're good. Okay. No, actually that hits. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's gonna be an 11 to hit. 11 is, in fact, enough to hit. Hey. <laughs> Shundi took off his armor and put on training weights. So. <laughs> the four does hit. <laughs> uh, and that's eight damage. Eight damage. Alright. It's... Ooh, that's the wrong keyboard. Mm -hmm. Alright, it's still standing. Okay. But it's looking pretty rough. Anything else from you? Do you uh, uh, rough. Rough. That's everything for me. Cool. Who knows? All right, I'm gonna go right up to this boy, help Septon out, and take out my sword. Doo -de do do. That's twenty-one to hit. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that's gonna be. Ah, oh, only four points. Four points, but plus your sneak attack. <laughs> which is four now, because you level up. <laughs> no, I don't get an increase until level three, I think. Either way. Yeah. Sneak attack. Aw, another measly one. So five total. But, so five total. And then I'm going to dagger it. Cool. A cactus. Yeah, no, that's a seven. Seven. Nope, doesn't hit. Yep, this thing's still standing. They don't seem terribly well put together, but your attacks aren't quite enough to pop them. Uh, turn. Damn, she needs dice. All right, you silly little candy tree boy. Who can play at this game? I cast <laughs> bark skin onto myself. Yeah, bark skin now. And then I'm going to, with sword drawn, march right up to him. Yeah. Right. That's all I can do. Cool, you get up to the, the tree that's guarding him. Sounds good. All right. Um, as you do so, he says, <laughs> All right, give it your best shot, green boy. Um, Tether, your turn. Hey, well. Okay, so this guy kind of annoys Tether. So she's going to use her action to use her wild shape to um, um, do her symbiotic entity. So the spores that are just like passively around her 
um, get a lot thicker as it like pours out of the the her mushroom cap and out of her mouth and nose and like fingers, and um, it gets a, a little more um, sickly green, and that means I have some temporary hit points. And then as a bonus action, I'm gonna cast Shillelagh on my shield, and I'm good to staying there for the turn. Cool. All right, on his turn, or no, sorry, it's the twig's turn. All of them. Um, the one that you just attacked, the one that you just attacked, Una, is actually going to attack Septon. Woof. Um, eight to hit. Nope. All right, this one, uh, next to you is going to, uh, whoa, a raid of 27 people. Holy crap. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. Hello. Hey, everybody. Oh, this is insane. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. Daddy Sativa's Raid, welcome. Hey, well, we're playing Dungeons and Dragons. You caught us in the middle of, uh, well, the beginning of combat. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're doing basically like a, a school life D&D sort of situation. Um, and right now, our, our friends are out in the forest fighting a horrible little guy um, who's throwing candy everywhere and that candy is turning the twigs and branches into the forest into tiny creatures that are attacking our party. Um, welcome! I hope you have a fun time. Alright, the the one is going to attack you. I rolled, but then we got raided so I don't remember what I rolled. I'm going to re-roll again. Ugh. Ten to hit, uh, Shandi. Um, nope. Cool. Uh, this one's going to run down to you, Una, and make an attack. Hit me. Ooh. Yeah. 17 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Cool. So that is going to be four points of piercing damage. Cool. Right. This one is going to... 5, 10, 15, 20. Run up to you. Attack you, Shandi. Uh, that is a non-natural 20 to hit. Uh, yeah, that, that'll do it. Yeah. Two points of piercing damage. Um, this one... 15 is going to run down to you. Turn, make an attack roll. It's like a 7 to hit. Probably good. Nope. This one will run here. That is even less. That is a six to hit. Cool. 20. This one's going to run up and try to attack you, Tether. 10 to hit. Nope. It's going to sprint to you. This one will sprint to you as well. 20. Sprint there. 20. Sprint there. Sprint there. And that's their turn. On his turn, he's going to throw out some more candy. What could go wrong? Spawn. No, it's real, real candy hours. Yep. I'm getting a feeling we just need to attack the small boy. Maybe. Or maybe. Oh, no. That's incorrect. Oh, no. Three Don't... more of these things uh, land on the ground. Um, and, uh, yeah. Septon, you're up. He, All he right. and says some uwu uwu nonsense, probably. Um, All right, I'm gonna drop. Uh, we're gonna pull a map tool. Um, the uwu the raiders just got here. <laughs> Listen, uwu's the whole brand, dude. <laughs> Where's the cube template? Uh, it's under draw. Uh, radiuses. I got cones. T template tools. Cube is it's the one, two, three, four, five, sixth one. It's a burst, technically. Oh, burst. Okay, yeah, yeah. So that would be. Let's see, is it? Do they have a rhombus one? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't think they do have a rhombus one. So in that there twenty foot cube. I'm not showing up. It's on my screen. I see um, it. Can I change its color? I see it. Oh no, wait, wait, where is it? It's it's right around the stump. Oh, All right, that there okay, twenty foot yeah, yeah, cube. Yeah, yeah, I see it now. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah, there cool. twenty foot cube. Like, uh, I need I need deck saves from everybody. I'm dropping fairy fire. Awesome. So I'll just I'll mark who. What's the DC? I'll mark who succeeds and who Yeah, wins. the DC is not very high. The DC <laughs> is 13. All right. This one fails. These two succeed. These, okay. 
<laughs> this one fails, the rest of them succeed, and it seems as, is, as your fairy fire goes towards the tree, the tree itself whips out some of its branches and just erases the magic. Um, and as it does so, the, the, the guy up in the tree says, <laughs> Unfortunately, this thing's invincible to everything but one thing. Don't worry, I'll give you some hints, as long as you do well. I got a 15, by the way, on that deck save. <clears throat> you, I don't think, are... F yeah. Oh no, any creature, okay. Yeah. Uh, I got 15. He's actually good. not a creature. <laughs> nice. um, Alright, cool, well, one of them uh, now has advantage if people attack it. Yeah, um, this one up here, Twiggy number 9. Cool. Um... The, the 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 guy in the tree continues to giggle about how futile your efforts are. I'm gonna turn to Una it's next to me. Be like, mm. be real, I do not like this guy. <laughs> um, <laughs> gonna give Una some inspiration. <laughs> oh, yes! Is that six? I mean, yeah, eight, it's a D6. No, it's six. A, six. Sorry. I think it's a D6. It's a D6. So. Yes, it is a D6 right now. Cool. Uh, cool. Sean D, your turn. Okay, I'm gonna turn around and attack the, the boy behind me. You have advantage. <laughs> it is glowing with... Well, that's a nat 20, so... Yeah, well, kill it. <laughs> Wait, well, again, you uh, might get something better. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's gonna be 10 damage, so doubled to 20. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's dead. Uh, you, you, you turn around in this now glowing sort of, uh, bundle of, of, of leaves and twigs just pops as you slash your scimitar straight through its face. I need you to roll I don't have that. that. Nope, that was Karasu who has, who has that sword. Oops, don't worry about it. <laughs> Rapier, that's the one. You stab it. Um, it's 10 out of 10 shiny, peeps. Um, I need you to roll a d6 for me. Okay. Five. All right, as it pops, you see like it, all of the pieces of twigs and leaves sort of evaporate. What remains, however, is a slightly glowing honeycomb that floats gently to the ground. Um, and as this happens, you hear from the tree, oh, is that a clue or is it random? <laughs> I don't know, you'll have to find out. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so there's now just a slightly glowing honeycomb in front of you, Una. Well, I guess, mm -hmm. do you have, is there anything else you want to do, Shandi? You just no, that's, that's, that's everything for me. Cool. Una. All right. I'm going to try uh, to hit Twiggy 10 again. All right. Twiggy 10. Twiggy 10. Natural 20. Hell yeah. Roll that damage. I, and... Why don't I ever use these dice? That's the sneak attack damage too, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, no. I, wasn't he on me, though? Didn't he attack me? Yeah, but you like... You still get sneak attack. The right there. Them. Yeah. Okay. So then, it is. What's my proficiency? I think three. Three. All right. So that is eight. That is thirteen total. Thirteen to yeah, more than enough. Uh, roll a d6 for me. Oh no. One. One. No honeycomb out of this guy. Oh man. All right, turn. Unless you have more you want to do, Una. Um, can. Because that was only one. Can I whip around yeah. as a bonus and dagger the other guy? Go for it. Yay. Oh, that's going to be just 11. 11 is enough. Oh, cool. Okay. And, oh, wait. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's a dagger. It's a dagger. It's a dagger. Boop. Four. Four. Nice. Boom. You, you slide that dagger right into its tiny little leaf rib cage. Sort of hmm. pull it out. Some of the twigs snap. Um, all right, turn. Hey, kid, knock, knock. Who's there? I pull a flask of oil out of my bag. Oil. Oil who? No, 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 no. I dumped oil all over the uh, stump in front of me. Oil, aren't you glad I didn't say banana? <laughs> <laughs> you stole my thunder, Shandy. <laughs> Sorry, I've heard that one before. I, 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 I don't get it. That's that takes an action, so that's my turn. All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> any, any, all anything right. else? Any movement or bonus? Nope. Cool. That's all. Tether. <laughs> you just stare at him with those lifeless eyes. <laughs> <laughs> those are so pure, but lifeless eyes. So wait. Um. 
these twiggy um, things, do they look like twiggy? This little is, is twiggy, twiggy a thing I should know? Um, the, um, the model from the 60s, the cultural touchdown? <laughs> They don't look no. like that, Twiggy. Um, they look like little little candied together uh, bundles of twigs and leaves with little angry faces. So no big eyes, no individual bottom lashes? No? Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> None of that. Okay, so what was the thing that dropped out? A honeycomb, right? Honeycomb. One honeycomb next to Shandi. Okay. Tether's gonna reach in underneath her mushroom cap. As and as she does, she's gonna cast Speak with Animals. Because she has that now. And I might have to watch the VOD of the first session, but I'm pretty sure as she was like introducing Una to a lot of her insect you friends. Did. You did, you did. There was there was bees. Uh-huh. Like two bees. I forgot their name. I know I named them. There were, there were in fact two bees. Yeah, because Chelsea hates bees, and Chelsea remembers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so um, she's gonna. Okay, this is cute. She, um, one of them I remember. I think was Carlton, and I don't remember the other one. So she's gonna name it after her first friend here, Una. All right. Una's flattered. <laughs> she's, uh, with speaking with animals, she's gonna be like, Carlton, Una, can you do me a favor, and can you har harass? Um, the man in the, the, in the, 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 the big tree, um, and, like, points them out. They, they buzz their approval and begin to fly off in that direction. Thank you, guys. Be careful. Uh, they zzz, buzz over there, and they start sort of, like, buzzing around the tree, and the tree starts reacting violently. And he goes, what? I didn't expect you to figure it out that quick. How'd you know this tree's weakness was bees? Because there is a honeycomb, Aww. and um, bees make honey. Ah, uh, next time I'll make my clues harder. <laughs> oh well, not like bees are going to be able to do much of anything. Um... And then, as a reaction, can I, uh, um, can I get the OG Twiggy to make? Uh, I believe it's a Constitution saving throw. Yep. Appointment OG is in the model. Eight. That's an eight. <laughs> Okay, so um, Twig that uh, OG Twiggy is gonna inhale some of my spores and take six poison damage. Six poison damage, nice. It, you know, it does. You can actually see the spores like dancing around in its exposed skeletal rib cage. Um, it's like, <laughs> doesn't seem to enjoy what you did to it. Cool. Um, Twiggy's turn, then. We'll start with a three on you, Tether. Uh, the one that you just attacked, uh, hit six to hit. No! The last one is a ten to hit. No! And the last one <laughs> is a fifteen to hit. No! Okay, didn't think so. All right, this one's gonna run up to Shandi. This one's also gonna run up to Shandi. So, or sorry, Septon. Um, the two against Septon. Ooh, the first is an eighteen. That'll hit. Yep, so that's one point of piercing damage. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, and an 11 on the other one. That will not hit. Cool. Um, this one's going to run up and attack Una. And that one, two, two are attacking you, Una. Two. Yeah. Uh, an 8 to hit. <laughs> no. And a 19 to hit. Yes. Certainly. That is three points of piercing damage. This one's going to run up here. Three. One, two, three. All right, so two attacks against you, Shandi. Okay. Uh, it's a 22 to hit and a five. Uh, the, yeah, the 22 certainly one hits. One point of piercing, one point of piercing damage. And finally, the one's attacking turn. We have, oh my God, 12. Does 12 hit you? 16 armor class. Okay, all of them miss. <laughs> they can't hit! They can't hit! It's not even their fault, I'm just rolling single digits. Um, Alright, on the the tree boy's turn, instead of throwing out more candy, he's going to command his tree to whoosh, whip its branches and just splatter those two bees. Can you roll an attack roll? They're, they're bees. They're dead. <laughs> I'll roll it if you want. 
You know how hard it is to punch a bee? All right, it was a natural 16 from an invincible tree. They're dead. <laughs> it's also not Both punching. It's, yes, it's not punching a bee. It's a giant tree whipping all of its branches at the bee. It's like not not hard to miss. But what he doesn't get to do is throw out any more candy and create more minions. So he didn't get it. Oh, this one didn't go. He'll just sprint up to here and not attack. Um, Septon, your turn. Mm. I'm a little nervous to do a certain spell because <laughs> I'm afraid it'll hurt someone. Um, if it's me, it might, it might, it might be related to you because <laughs> you're standing right next to me. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, it's not great. Um. But not great. Let's just let's just take a swing at Twiggy Two. Twiggy Two. All right, go for it. Take a swing. It's an eight. An eight doesn't again. Hit. Yeah. Um, Thought not. All right. Well, just well, well, hanging well. out, you know. All right, Sean D. All I mean, right. They are they are surprisingly I... difficult pit because they're like tiny and they're like moving around all the time. I will be right back. I'm gonna attack the uh, Twiggy Twiggy Eight cool. uh, right next to me. Uh, it's gonna be a not natural twenty to hit. Yup. Thank you for saying it like All that. All right. Uh, yeah. You know, it's it's in every other it's on an every other twenty basis with me. So. Um, and that's gonna be twelve damage. Yeah. Dead. This uh, is the first time I've ever rolled well in this campaign. Good. <laughs> so. uh, roll a d6 for me. Yep. Uh, three. Three. No honeycomb. Okay. Um, anything else from you? Um, can I just examine the honeycomb on the ground as a bonus action? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, you, you look at it, it's definitely pulsating with energy, and there's a very, very strong smell of, like, aged honey coming from it. Like, it's, it's a deep, rich flavor you get by smelling it. Let's find yeah. Let's get <laughs> If we co yeah, if we kill enough and we um collect them and then age them, we can make our own mead. I want mead so bad. Uh, now. Una, oh your turn. Yeah, Una. We'll just, kill some. Una just fantasizes about mead. Um. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um. No, Una's never had a drink in her life. Um. I'm gonna hit Twiggy four. Cool. Yeah. Wait. Oh, no. Yep. That's a seven. Seven is not enough, unfortunately. I'm sure it's not. Dagger time! Uh, fifteen. Fifteen will hit. Dagger hit. Le boop. Four points piercing. Four points piercing. Ooh, Twiggy Four is still alive. Yeah. Turn. I like to pull out my tender box and light the oily stump in front of me. Your tender box? <laughs> the tree goes up yeah. in flames, and you hear the boy in the tree go, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Gotcha! I already told you, this tree's only weak to one thing! So the Alright, well, I'm dying different things. Alright. Uh, the tree's now on fire, and the mm -hmm. twiggies around it are definitely a little singed. The tree doesn't seem to be taking damage, and neither does the boy in the tree. All right, I end my turn. All right, tether. My turn. Mm -hmm. Well, tether's angry, Angie. so she's gonna attack Twiggy six. Cool. Um, I rolled. Where's my? Seven. So that's a 16. 16 will hit. Um, and that is gonna be my D8. Three plus five is, is eight. Plus I get to do an extra D6 poison, Ooh. which is a five. And so that's 13. 13, yeah, you... you shield bash this twiggy and your spores like shoot into it and it just pops roll a d6 for me 
D6 is a one. All right, no honeycomb. <laughs> and then as a reaction, OG Twiggy has to make another constitution saving throw. I think you need to take reactions off of your turn, but I could be wrong about that. It's just whatever the trigger whenever. is. Yeah. Uh, it'll make another constitution saving throw. He's a four. Okay. Um, three and two, so that's five. Five. This one pops as well. Roll another d6. Five. Five. Honeycomb. As the honeycomb uh, sort of drops out of it, the one next to you, Shandi, just like lifts up and rapidly shoots over and attaches itself to the first honeycomb. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. Twiggy turn. We'll start with the one on you, Tether. Oh, uh, it's okay, Blake. I looked it up. Um, it's like a reaction at the end of your turn you can take. Cool. Yeah. Uh, the one against you, Tether, is a 14 to hit. Nope. Cool. Uh, <laughs> the three against Septon. We got 21. Yeah. And then two that are less than 12. Nope. Yep. Three points of <laughs> piercing damage. All right. The Boy. one against Una is 19 to hit. Yeah. Four points of piercing damage. Cool. Uh, the two against Shandi is a 13. Nope. And a four. <laughs> so. Nope. <laughs> and the three <laughs> against turn. <laughs> Is an 18, huh? Hits. Yep. So one, point, <laughs> one point of piercing damage, and the other two absolutely miss. So nice. Cool. All right. I'm... I didn't know I signed up to be the tank. Yeah. Uh, Tree Boy <laughs> is going to laugh and throw some more Twiggies out. Oh, Twiggy. His Three um, more Twiggies. That oil burns for two turns, according to the oil item. Sounds good. It's it's burning for sure, but you know, he okay. doesn't actually seem to care all that much. Um, he seems fully protected by this tree. All right, Septon, your turn. Are you gonna miss an attack again? Probably, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, that's what I'm thinking. Um, yeah, we're gonna miss an attack on <laughs> Twiggy too. Let's all do right. it. For the third time in a row. No, you eight. didn't. I rolled an eight three you, times in a row. At this point, Septon's just like confused and swinging his sword wildly and completely randomly. I like, have rolled nothing but threes. Hey, listen, you're you're precise, but you're not accurate. Precise. Um. <laughs> all right, Shandi, you're up. Unless you have something else you want to do, Septon. No. no cool. Good. Shandi, your turn. Your turn. All right. Nine. I'm 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 fighting Twiggy fourteen. 14. Page 14. That is another, that's a flaccid 20. Oh my god. Okay, well, you said that. I know, I've rolled bummer, but... <laughs> I said every other one. I'm changing it up. Okay. All right. All right, roll your damage. I hit, a, and that is um, 11 damage. Yep, dead. <laughs> uh, you, you pop this twiggy. Roll your d6. Um, oh, that's a one. No honeycomb. Okay. Anything else? Um, no, that's everything for me. Cool, Una. All right. Twiggy number four. You're going to get this one. Less tango. <laughs> I've been hitting them. They've just been hitting me extra hard. Yeah, no. But, I mean, you've been, you've been whittling away at this guy, which actually yeah. is a pretty apt statement considering he's made out of wood. Hey, uh, 22. 22 will hit, yeah. Go ahead and so, roll damage. Yay. Da, 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 da. No, um, only four. That's enough. He's dead. Yay. Uh, as you swing your short sword, yeah. Yes. You swing your short sword at it. Finally, it just breathes its last breath and crumbles. Roll a d6 for me. Oh no, my headphones came undone. Don't t don't say what the d6 is. The headphones came undone. Right. It's a natural twenty. <laughs> yeah, on the d6. <laughs> a two. Cool. No. It's a two. No, no honeycomb. Um, Turn, anything else, Suna? Yeah, yeah, well, uh, <laughs> let's see. It's so strange not being magical. <laughs> um, 
Keep the tree is still on fire. Ah, uh, tree is still on fire. Yeah. Yeah. Then I'm just gonna try to hit Twiggy Twelve with the dagger. Twiggy Twelve, go for it. Boop. Hey, another twenty-two. Twenty-two, that'll hit, and you get sneak attack on this. <laughs> Five total. Five total. Nice. You, as it is in fact facing Shondi, you stab it through the back with your dagger, and it makes a weird little raspy noise, like. <laughs> okay, turn. <laughs> your turn. All right, I. Uh oh. I grab my sword and I am going to move like the wind and breathe like the wind. I'm going to cast Zephyr Strike. Ooh. Um, I'm just going to turn and strike, slash out at the one immediately to my left. Go for it. Uh, um, so Ze I get roll Zephyr to Strike it. sort of coats your, your sword in wind, yes? Ooh, I don't know, I think so. It just says that I move like the wind. Who's this airbender over here? His aim's turn! <laughs> <laughs> he believes he can save the world. Uh. <laughs> um, Alright, so I get to make an attack with advantage. I will do so. Oh, he does believe he can save 19. 19 will hit. It does 2d8 plus 4. In addition to that, Roll a d6 of fire damage as you sweep your wind-covered sword past a flaming tree. It catches the fire with it and brings it on top of this twiggy. Ooh. Oh, shoot. All right, so that's 14 damage, plus how much damage in fire? A d6. A d6. Natural 20. Uh, plus additional 3. 17 points of damage. 17 points of damage. Yeah, this thing just bursts in an explosion of flame and wind. Roll a d6 for me. Six. Six! Another honeycomb boom, pops out of this one, and the two previous honeycombs shoot, shoot up over towards you. There are now three honeycombs attached to each other. All right. You're getting uh, warmer. I, literally, I guess. Since I cast Zephyr Strike, my move speed increases to 60 feet for this round, and I can move without provoking opportunity attacks. Nice. So I dance my way on out of there. Awesome. Go for it. A Do a fun little two-step. Are you tap um, dancing? I, I am tap dancing. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm going to move... You can leave the bounds of the clearing if you want to. No, it's alright. I want to be able to move back in for an attack on the next turn. Cool. I'm all just right. going to move to here. Sounds good. So you pop one, the honeycomb flies over there, and you leave. Tether! Tether is going to attack Twiggy 7. That is a 17. 17 on it. Okay. Uh, plus poison. That's 9 damage. Nice. Twiggy is still alive. It's still alive. Barely. Hanging oh. on by a thread. And as it gasps after that big hit, can it make a constitution yes, saving throw? Uh, not bad, but not good enough. Good enough. Figured. Don't don't even roll damage. It has one HP. Um, do roll the D6 though. D6. Five. Five. Ooh, another honeycomb. As the one that just popped up next to the fire just zoom zooms its way over here. You now have four honeycombs attached to each other. All right. Anything else? Um. Yeah. Um. Tether's gonna move here. Cool. Take his place. Sounds Where good. is the honeycomb? Uh, the honeycomb is. Let me draw it. Draw a little bee. I'm a bee. I'm a bee. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bee. Can you see that? Can you see that? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> How many honeycombs before the mascot from Honeycomb Cereal shows up? Oh, oh no. Oh, Remember when you tried to make that a meme on Reddit? Like our sophomore year um, college. Totally forgot about that. Um, is the honeycomb cereal mascot like the final boss of this campaign? He's not. We cracked the code. <laughs> <laughs> he wants his honeycomb. Anyway, 
Twiggy turn. So, these two Twiggies, I need to be on the token layer, uh, are going to attack you, Tether. Okay. It's a 14 and a... Uh, 12. No, no. Yeah. So we're gonna attack you, Sean D. Ooh, okay. That's a fucking four, um, and a yep. twenty-two, which will hit. Yes. All right, four points of piercing damage. Oh wow. Um, this Twiggy will run up over here. So two attacks on Una, two attacks on Septon. Oh, we'll no. start with Una. Yep. Um, last of twenty. Yeah. Two points of piercing damage and a ten. So that'll miss. And the two against Septon is a twenty-two and a seven. So one of them hits. One point of piercing damage. And this one is going to run over to you. Hit you. It's actually not, though. Actually, it doesn't hit you. <laughs> it doesn't, because it rolled an eight. So um at this point, Mel is gonna say, hm, you're doing this quicker than I thought you were gonna. I guess it's time for me to break out my big guns as well. No. Or, I guess... Multiple guns? I don't know, I'll work on it. Um, and he's going to throw out six pieces of candy. To generate six more Twiggies. Really wish they just went where I wanted them to. They have a mind of their own. You might create so them, but they have their own l life. They have free will. Oosh, and six Twiggies pop out of the tree, and he continues to giggle maniacally. Septon, I believe in you. You can hit. You can hit one of them. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Una, how you doing over there? <laughs> Mm. All right, never mind. Yeah, we'll take a swing at one of them. All right, Go. I'll take I'll take a swing at one. <laughs> uh, that's a ten. Ten? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Swoosh. He's just trying his best. He's just trying his best. Apparently. <laughs> Alright, that's it. That's my turn. Alright. No, that's turn over there. Shondi. Got it. Uh, Shondi, you're up. I'm gonna... I'm gonna help Una with uh, Twiggy 12. Okay. This is uh, 21. Yeah, you're rolling like, real the, good with today. With the fucking big rolls today. Thank you, Ricky, for the dice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and that is gonna be 13 damage. <laughs> oh, uh, pop, pop goes to the twiggy. Yeah. Uh, roll a d6 for me. Uh oh. Hold on. Hold for six. Hold for six. Uh, five. Five. Oh, what do you know? Another honeycomb. Now you have. Five. Uh, 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 ding, 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 ding. Um, as you get five honeycombs. Yeah. You hear. All of you, the sound of loud buzzing. That's all I'll say about that. Not the bees. <laughs> cool. Una. Yay. Or unless you have more to do, Shandy. I know that was it for me. Cool. Uh, how would it be a bonus action or an action to eat both of my good berries? Uh, I think it says it in the spell. Mm. And I don't uh, think you can eat more than one at a time. Ah, uh, okay. A, a creature can use its action to eat one berry. Yeah. Alright. I eat a berry. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> it helps. Alright, turn. All right, I'm going to once again move like the wind, sting like a bee, and cast Zephyr Strike. All right. 
attack with advantage. Hey, now that you're using Zephyr Strike, you're at least you're not throwing your goddamn sword all over the place anymore. Anyway. That's true. I rolled a 10. 10 10's not enough, though. Um, you, well, I still get the move. Your wind blade goes sort of through its chest cavity, as this one has, like, an open mouth on its tongue. Yeah, oh, rude. All right. Uh, 5, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Mm. Sure, I'll step right here. And I say, how's it going over here? Really good, well thanks enough. for asking. I breathe on over. Not you, you're... Aww. Yeah, you're the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I put you on fire for a reason. I'm not on fire anymore, am I? Oh, I don't know. I lost count. Um, I look down at this uh, hive of bees underneath me. What does it look like? It's not a hive. It's just five honeycombs sort of stuck together, and you realize they're sticking together in such a way that it's gonna sort of form, like, a d20-ish shape. Ooh. Well, d20 maybe is not the right word for it. D10, maybe? Interesting. All right, that's all I got for my turn. Cool, tether. Uh, I guess I'll just I'll do thirteen, Twiggy thirteen. Cool. Um, fifteen. Fifteen is enough. Fifteen is enough, and then ten plus six. So that's um fourteen in total. Yeah, pop. Goodbye. Roll d6. Four. Four. That is another honeycomb. <laughs> um, and it zoom, zooms like as you're looking at it, turn it like whoo, flies past your face over towards um, mm. the new one. Oh, I didn't realize this. Um, Zephyr Strike is concentration, so I no longer have bark skin. Oh, okay. Sure. Mm. Sounds good. Um, and then I know Mel is being protected by a giant tree. I guess you know his name now. Oh, what? I guess you know his name because it's on his token. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the anime dude is being protected by a giant tree. But anime dude is still within 10 feet of me, right? Technically, yes. Could he breathe in? And send my spores and make a constitution saving throw? Or are you going to send your spores at him? Uh, yes. Cool. You send your spores at him, and just like with Fairy Fire, the tree seems to absorb them. Okay. Thought I'd check. Yep. Cool, man. Uh uh uh. Not that easy. Uh, except that there's. Well, I've been having a pretty easy time with these guys. Well, they're not the strongest. <laughs> Maybe I'll give my candy to something big and scary next time. Okay. Um, he's gonna throw out three more candies and make three more twiggies. Oh. oh wait, no, wait, sorry. Twiggy turn first. Twiggy turn first. Twiggy turn first. This one's gonna run here. Four attacks on you, Tony. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna hit you finally. Um, that is a flaccid 20, a 15, and an 18. Um, that was three. What was the... Fourth. Oh, I didn't do the fourth. Thank you. Uh, another 18. Two 18s, 15, and a flash of 20. Okay, they, um, a three hit. Cool. So that's two, four, six. Oh my god, I'm only rolling twos. And I dropped my dice. So six damage? No. Oh, yeah, six damage, because only three of them hit. Yep. Six damage. Okay, we're almost at my real hit points. <laughs> Um, here, here. So I'll come around here. So that's going to be two attacks on turn. Uh, 22 and 13. Both hit. Both hit? Oh, because your right. skin's gone. Yeah. And Four I, yeah. total points of piercing damage. Uh, three attacks on Sean D. Um, flaccid 20 and two that are less than 10. Um, yeah, the, the 20 hits. Four points as well. Um, okay. Two attacks on Una and one attack on Simpton. 
Uh, also, I failed ooh. concentration. Oh, okay, so you're not separate strike anymore. Hey, Una, I rolled two natural 20s for the two attacks. I hate to say it. Yeah, bye, guys. Yeah, I hate to it's, a, yeah. it's a d4. You might be okay. No. <laughs> Ten total. Yeah, down. All right, Una falls to the ground. That's the wrong one. You're not dead. <laughs> yeah. And the one on Septon. Five. So. Five to hit? Yeah. <laughs> you're, Misses. You're good. Um, as uh, Twiggy falls down, um, the boy in the tree is just going <laughs> to... Oh, no. One of you's going to die. <laughs> I suppose that's okay. As long as not every single one of you dies, Pell won't be mad at me. Uh, then he's gonna throw out three more Twiggies. That's his turn. Septon! All right. Use my bonus action. Uh, elf shit is the name of uh, the ability, I believe. Cool. The, 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 to blink over <laughs> yeah, here. Elf shit, the official name. The official name, elf shit. <laughs> no, uh, the Eladrin blink to head over there. Cool. We're dropping thunderclap. I need, uh, I need con saves from all the fellas around me. Cool. Give these fellas the clap. So 27, 26, 25, 21, and 20. All right. What's the DC? 13. Alright, that is this one. Uh, 27 fails. 26 succeeds. 25 fails. 21 fails and 20 succeeds. So, <laughs> can you like mark those somehow or can I just tell this you? This one, this one, and this one failed. Okay. Um. Well, hang on. Okay. Successes are going to take four damage. All right. Failures are going to take nine and be pushed ten feet away from me. Unfortunately, that doesn't kill me. Oof. Well, I may have put myself in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> Incredibly close to death. Um, so they get pushed back how many feet? Ten. One, two, ten. This one, I guess, kind of smacks. No, he doesn't go back. This one is going to go smack into the tree, and since it only has one HP left, I am going to say that goes and go ahead and kills it. Um, and this one, five, ten, is going to run into this one, and now they're both in that space and prone. Um, so roll one d6 for me. Four. Four. Another honeycomb. Another one. Another one. Honeycombs. So there are now seven honeycombs all attached to each other, and the buzzing is getting much, much, much louder. Shandi. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh... Bonus action, second wind. Cool. Give myself that sweet heal. Two. Okay, it's gonna be four more hit points for me. Cool. Um, and then I'm going to take a stab at Twiggy fifteen. Twiggy fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be twelve to hit. 12 will hit. All right. And damage is going to be another another um, 11 for damage. Cool. That is enough. Roll a d6. That's a six. Oh, another one. Another honeycomb. Boom. All right. There are now eight honeycombs, and the buzzing is louder than ever. As this happens, he goes, <laughs> you're getting closer. You're getting closer. A sweet treat is almost upon us. 
Um, Una, that's safe, please. Yay. It's a fail. Turn. Um, just, just making sure here. Good berry says you can use an action to eat a berry. Can I? I'm gonna say you can use an action administer to feed a berry. A berry? Can I feed a berry? All right, I stuff a berry into Una's mouth and I make her chew and swallow, and then I say, "Lay dead." <laughs> and I just look like I'm ready to fight the other ones. Cool. So Una, you you open your eyes and you see Turn's face like right in front of you, whispering, <laughs> "Play dead" to you. Is it all pretty and magical because it's anime now? It's it's always been anime. <laughs> you just no, know. no, it, it, it's anime now. So you wake up going, "Mommy." <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna do a phoenix roll and see if I'm attracted to him at all. Ew. I like that. I'm into, I'm into that. Auto, auto 20. Um, no, not even. <laughs> all right, I like that. I like that. <laughs> What'd you roll? She's not gonna say it. Oh, we have okay. to role play it out. Sounds good. Uh, the immersion. Turn. Oh, no, sorry, I'm done. Cool. Tether. Um. I guess I'll hit. Twiggy 23. Cool. I'll try to. Yep. 14. 14 hits. I guess da, da, da. probably kill it. <laughs> well, I have a D8 plus a D6. Um, so that's a 6 plus. Um, I lost that D6, but I'll roll another one. 3, so 9, so 13. Dead. Roll a D6. D6. That is a 3. Three, no honey. Um, am I um, in a ten foot radius with twenty six? Yep. Can he make a Constitution saving throw? Yes, he can. Ooh, four. So he's gonna take four plus max damage, eight on poison damage. All right. Let's see if he's still alive. He's not. Roll another d six. That is, uh, I'm gonna re-roll it. It's on the, 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 the little mesh thing table. That's a two. Two, nope, no honeycomb. All right, Twiggy turn. <laughs> These two Twiggies are gonna stand up um, and rush over to you. This Twiggy's gonna come here, this Twiggy's there. This Twiggy will run over here, this Twiggy will run over here. All right, so one, two, three, four, five attacking you, um, Tether. So that is a 16. No. Uh, 22. Yes. Uh, like five. No. A another 16. No. And less. Wow, only fucking one more hits you. Okay. Cool, 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 three, <laughs> three, three points of piercing damage. I three points of piercing damage. damage. I have lost my temporary hit points. You're back to normal hit points now. Yeah, Tether's the tank. I don't know if you guys knew this. All right, two attacks against you, Septon. Ooh, 22 and 14. Uh, my AC's 14. Cool, so, so both hit. So that's two, six points of piercing damage. Ooh. Um, that's going to be two attacks against Shandi and two attacks against Turn. Uh, that is an 21 and a 17 to hit Shandi. Yeah, both hit. Cool. That is four points of damage total. And then okay. the ones against turn are both 15s. Both hit. Cool. Three points of damage total. All right. Um, Mel is... Well, yeah, that's his name, whatever. Um, uh, Tree Boy is... <laughs> Uh, it's gonna say, Aw, and you're not even gonna help your friend. <laughs> so much for the world's future heroes. Throw out his Twiggies. Endless, what a bar. endless Twiggy. When leveling up, do you get spell slots back? Um, I said something about that last time. I'm trying to see how many I'm supposed to have right now. I'm I unclear. Think no. If you got new spell slots, you got those, but... Yes, I'm aware of that. Yeah. Sep Sepi, your turn. 
Blake, Blake, real quick, um, I, um, I just realized, um, I guess for the next Twiggy turn, I think you forgot about Twiggy 17 off in that corner. He's just been Aww. hanging out for a while. We'll just say he runs over here. Okay. Cool. Thank you. I fully did because he's not on my, my thing. Yeah. Um, Septon, you're up. It's not looking great. Yeah, I feel like you're looking pretty good. I'm going to take a swing at 27. Oh my god, with the sword, 22. Hey, finally does <laughs> let's, it! Let's go, after the thunder wave, the luck is turning around. Alright, roll some damage. Five damage, but... It's enough. Yeah. Uh, d6. Come on, come on. Ah, three. No new, no new honeycomb. Anything else from you? Nanu, nanu. Uh, no, I have nothing else. Cool. Oh, um, you know what? No, uh, bonus action, inspiration for um, uh, Sean D, cool. who is surrounded. Speaking of which, it's Sean D's turn. I'm aware you're cool. also surrounded, uh, Tether. I apologize. No, it's fine. Tether's a tank. We're good. <laughs> I had to. Pay, I had to split decision. Make the hard decision. Uh, okay. I am going to turn northward and attack Twiggy number 16. Cool. Oh, that's not going to hit. That's five to hit. Five does not hit, no. All right, I'm going to I'm gonna action, action surge and do Woo! it again. Our first action surge. Our first action, 13. 13 is enough, yeah. Sorry, you cut out. Is yes. that? Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, he he. Yeah. I think oh, okay. Died. You're back. I think Winfield cut out. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, Every everybody everybody I cut out from everyone else. Yes, okay, so that hits. Thirteen, yeah. Good. Cool. Yeah, good hit. Hit good. Um, six damage. Six damage. Not enough to kill, but sure hurt it. Una. Okay. Uh, one HP. Yep. Um. Uh, I'm playing dead. He could try to sneak it, secretly eat another berry, like. Yeah, that's all I got. Just gonna eat another berry. Okay. Sneakily. Make a stealth check. Sleight of hand would be the better one, I think. Ah, uh, man, that's still fine. Yeah, that's a 24. <laughs> yeah, just very, very quickly and <laughs> So Like fast, a frog. No one can see it. Um, anything okay. else, Luna? Nope, I'm playing dead. Alright. Um, turn. Oh, turn, do you have your own hit points? This? I'm playing with my uh, thing boring. here. It's not perfect though. Like I have to slide the thing around. Um, you can use the damage if you click on yourself and hit damage. Um, it'll take your current hit points. Uh, away from your maximum. But the bar itself, like I can't. I don't. If I'm still trying to figure out how to right, lock the right bar to the health. Right click your character and go to. You can put in your HP. You've already done that. All right. No, it's it's good. The bar should stay on health. No, for some reason the bar is just letting me, uh, Ooh. like set it manually. <laughs> oh wait, maybe not now. Hold on. Oh, now it's active working. I don't know. Okay. If you guys want to keep track of your health in the game, you can right click on yourself, hit edit, and then put your max HP in the max HP section and current HP in the current HP section. You can. You can also. Small. You can also save uh, speech input so you can have quick speech. So I added one that says, "Is this where we train to become heroes?" No. So I'm just gonna do a bunch of those. I can't. I mean, neither myself nor the stream bot can see the chat. So <laughs> those are just and it's for you. Just a fun little surprise for us. Anyway. All here. right, my turn. I'm gonna swing my long sword at Twiggy number twenty. Twiggy number twenty. That's gonna be a fourteen. Fourteen is enough to hit. And that is going to be nine points of damage. Nine points of damage is going to be enough to kill it. Go ahead and roll a d6. 
That is a three. No new money problem. Anything else? Nope, that's all. Tether! Tether is going to hit Twiggy 19, because that's the day I was born. Twiggy? Twiggy 19. The 19th of Twiggy. Oh, of course. 13. 13 hits. Uh, 2 plus 5 is 7 equals 11. Uh, I believe, yep, that's enough. That is enough to kill it. Go ahead and roll the 6. 6. 6, another one! A honeycomb. Honeycomb. There are now 9 honeycombs, and the buzzing is becoming kind of imbe- unbearably loud, and you know the direction it's coming from is above. And um, I want 121 to make a con save. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Uh, 19. Uh, he's fine. Yep. He held his breath. And that's me. T- and that's me, Ted. All right. Um, Twiggy turn. So, one, two, three, four, five, six attacking you, Tether. Um, two attacking Ooh. Septon, two on Sean B, two on Tether. So we'll start with Tether. Garbage, garbage, garbage. That's three misses. Mm-hmm. Garbage, garbage, oh, 19. Wow. Out of six, one of them hit you. <laughs> two points of damage. Two points of damage. How do you do damage on here again? Uh, so you, you'd have to put it, you click on your... I already put my max health. And you hit the damage button. And Perfect then damage. you put in how much damage and you hit enter. It should take that away from your current HP. Um, against you, Septon, that's a 17 and like a, a 4. The 17 will hit. Cool. Two points of damage. Um, against you, Sean D, that is a 13 and a 5. So, nope. Um, nope. And against turn, that is a 15 and a, and a... And a 12. 15 and 12. Both hit. Cool. Three points of damage to you. Oh, All right. uh, we're getting so close, I can almost taste it! Um, and he's going to throw out more twigs. Pretty much just surrounding you, Septon. Dope. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it makes it your turn, Septon. All right. Um, gonna, let's take a swing at. I got no spells left. Uh, <laughs> take a swing at uh, twenty-nine. Why not? Sure. The one south of me. Nope, it doesn't hit. <laughs> okay. Sean Deeb. Okay, I'm I'm returning uh, to Twiggy sixteen. Cool. That's the day I was born. Um, that's gonna be twelve. Twelve does hit just barely. All right. Oh. Uh, six damage. Six damage. That is enough to kill it. Go ahead and roll your d six. Four. That is so. Something's gonna happen. Yay! Uh oh. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I expected these things to hit you a lot more than they did. I thought this was gonna be more tense than it was. <laughs> you know. Who no, no, down? Um, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's not over yet either. So what's going to happen is the buzzing is be as the honeycomb gets over to you, it's going to complete its sort of D10 shape, and then it's going to begin to float in the air. The buzzing from above becomes loud, so loud it's almost unbearable. You'll have to sort of cover your ears when you see a flash of yellow shoot down from the sky as a bee the size of a giant eagle impales its stinger into the ground directly in front of you, Shandi, skewering this honeycomb. The honeycomb absorbs its way up into the bee and it flies away, but it leaves its stinger, a curved blade, 
stuck into the corner. Shh, goes away. He's like, <laughs> we got to see the Elder Hornet. We got to see the Elder Hornet. Uh, can I? Is he gone? Pick up, can I pick that up as a bonus action? It's free action to pick up a weapon. Yeah. Oh, free um, action. Yeah, cool. But you, so the thing about it is. Big B's is my favorite spell. No. In the, world. Um, the the thing about it is, it's not got like a hilt. You want, it's got like right here. Mm. Let me let me show you. Like was was this fight inspired by a certain Terraria boss by any chance? It straight up wasn't. Oh. I was just like, what would be a funny weakness? <laughs> ah, bees. Um, so if you take a look at stream really quick, um, it's this. Ooh. <laughs> um, Ooh. It's not a handle so much as, like, a sheath for your arm. You have to reach inside. Can someone screenshot it and send it to the Discord? I'm gonna, send, I'm gonna send the image to the Discord later. Okay. Um, okay that was up its butt. So if you wanna, if you wanna <laughs> reach in there, you're more welcome. We Doesn't the be yeah, high yeah. when it loses its stinger? Not an Elder Hornet. I'll stick my, my hand my hand. It grows too you more. Stick your hand in, and sure enough, there is a hilt you can hold on to inside this. <laughs> and as you pull it up, you look at yourself, and it sort of just looks like you've just got a giant stinger arm. Hell yeah. And everybody was joking about bees being its weakness. Yeah, <laughs> it was. <laughs> um, yeah, now you have that in your hand. Um, from the tree, you're going to hear more giggling and say... Oh, you've got all the pieces of the puzzle. Now just solve it. Um, Una. Uh, can I see anime Willy Wonka's fucking face? Um, yeah, vaguely. Sort of and... like obscured a little bit behind trees, but you can see his grinning, grinning pale face with his blue eyes, and he seems to have a new lollipop in his mouth now. I'm not sure when he grabbed that. Just because it's what my character would do, can I throw a dagger at his face? Go for it. And try. I'm gonna use uh, my inspiration because um, I remembered that was. Can I not? No, yeah, I died. yeah, yeah. Go for it. Oh. Go for it. Um, I I sent the uh, item Winfield to the behind the screen Discord so you can find it. Cool. Oh wait, wait, that actually might be okay. Wow. That's 16. Cool, you whoom, throw it in his direction and it shoo, goes through straight into his forehead. You hear, ah, ah, and he holds up his hands and starts grabbing onto his forehead and red liquid starts leaking out. And then he takes his hands away and he's just got red jelly all over his hands. The tree caught the dagger before it hit him in the face. <laughs> Did you think you got me? <laughs> um, anything else? Um. If I throw it, I don't think I get a bonus, do I? I believe. No, yeah, I, don't... I think you still yeah, do. Yeah, it's just because... one of you. Because dagger, one. dagger, dagger. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, is it two-hand fighting? I think I you think it's only two-hand fighting. I think you only get a bonus action if you make a melee yeah. attack. Well, no, you can always... You can always... Oh, no, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Let me double-check that, but I think that's how that works. I've never been a ranged person, so I don't know. Uh, probably not. But the twigs do know you're alive now. Yeah. Well, whatever. Turn! I am going to attack the one that's right next to Una. Cool. Gonna roll my handy dandy little attack roll. It's gonna be a 16. 16 will hit. I'm gonna do six points of damage. Nice. And then I'm gonna end my sweet little baby boy turn. Oh, that was a mistake. Whatever, it's dead. It, you shouldn't be, but it might as well be. You kill it. No more money comes, though. Um. Tether, you're up. Um, I'm gonna try to hit um 17. Okay. 12. 12 just barely hits him, yeah. Okay. We're looking at 12. 
12 damage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dead. Yeah. And can 21 please make another constitution saving throw? Yes, it can. Uh, 17. He's still not breathing. This, this one in particular manages to fucking avoid it. Um, <laughs> all right, Twiggy turn. This one is going to break away and try to attack Una. You can take an attack opportunity if you'd like, Shandi. Um, yeah, I will. I'll take an attack opportunity with, uh, with my, my new stinger arm. Sweet. Stinger uh, arm? Um, it's gonna be... Uh. Okay, that's 13 to hit. 13 to hit, and don't roll damage. This thing pops. Okay, As, as you just cool. it comes into contact with this bee material. Uh, and from the tree... <laughs> you got it! You got it! b -terial. Um, B-terial. This one is going to attack... Turn. Uh, 22 to hit. Mm -hmm. So, three points of damage. Um, mm -hmm. Septon, you know, I hate to do it to you, but I kind of don't. Uh, <laughs> you're about to take a lot of hits. Let's do it. <laughs> That's, what, one, two, three, four, five against you. Natural 20, uh, five and a 14 and AC the last 14. two so that's two hits one of them's a crit and the last two miss so you take wow i rolled a one on the crit so that's two plus mm, six points of damage shut up i'm down all right septon falls to the ground whoa uh oh wow uh -oh. and one two three Five against you as well, Tether. All right, two misses. Another fucking miss. Jesus Christ. Another miss. I rolled, I rolled five dice, and not a single one was higher than five. <laughs> um, cool. On boy, tree boy, boy tree's turn. He's going to uh, say, <laughs> well, I guess playtime's over then. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, and the tree itself is gonna whip its arm down towards you, Tether. Cool. That is a 16 to hit. No. No. Nice. It's gonna take its second attack. 25 to hit. Oh, Blake, I'm sorry you keep rolling so low. Shut up, dude. <laughs> Alright, you... yikes. 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And 3 points of poison damage. Okay, I'm down. Um, you, you see, the fight this thus far has been against things that, you know, aren't too hard. Tiny little twigs. But all of a sudden, the tree has gotten involved. And instantly, you see it just ravage Tether's body. Um, the, boy, the boy, the boy, the boy in the tree says, <laughs> "Did you think it was gonna be easy the whole time?" <laughs> um, Septon, you're up. Make no, I'm not. Make a death save. <laughs> Fail. Cool. Oh. <laughs> Roll to nine. Uh, Sean D. Let me change the. Okay, I have a question because I don't think I've ever had to do this. Um, if I just adjust my position around this enemy, it won't count as an attack of opportunity, or will it? It won't. Okay, cool. So I'm going to pop myself up here, and then I'm going to use the special attack of the stinger, charge. which is a straight line. Yeah, charge 30 feet in a straight line. Any creature hit is dragged. Cool. Um, I assume I, I just roll a normal attack roll for that. Yep, go ahead. Well, you're, you're going to roll the two attacks because there's the first yeah. one and then there's the tree. Okay, so for, for the first boy, ooh, I might miss him. Um, That's a 10. 10 does miss him, but you continue steamrolling past. He, like, jump, like, turn, like rolls into a little ball and rolls out of the way. But you see him pass onwards towards the tree, make an attack roll. Yeah, the tree is a 17. 17 hits. Um, cool. So as Shandi 
sort of repositions, takes takes a step back and just starts sprinting forward with this bee stinger outright. It slides its way into the base of the tree. Um, the tree, like, looks down and just slowly begins to, like, break apart. Um, from the tree, you hear, Ah, we only got to play for, like, one second! Um, as the tree just shatters. Um, and Mel is sent flying. 30 feet. Team Rocket's blasting up again. Not quite. Um, it comes back down to the ground, but before he hits the ground, throws out his hand, and a burst of air <laughs> breaks uh, his fall. He's now sort of crouched uh, on the ground, looking expectantly at all of you. Um, and you're there. Uh, and at this point, all of the Twiggies also wither. Yay, Peter, you, we don't die. Necessarily. Mm. I mean, <laughs> not yet. We don't die from a, uh, twigs. Twigs. <laughs> We've got about six seconds. Oh. All right. Um, Sean D went. Una, your turn. Ah. Uh. Oh, no. Uh, and, oh, I don't know how many good berries. What? Uh, I don't have any more good berries. Oh, I thought you said. No, I, I also heard that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you hear? Uh, good daddies. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Um. Uh, how long it, how long does it take to stabilize someone? Is that an action? Uh, it's a medicine check. It's a medicine check. Um. At least how I, I I rule it as a medicine check as an action if you don't have yeah. spells to do so. Well, that, that's also the official rule for it too. Well, good thing. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm gonna run over to Tether and just try medicine. Go for it. Oh no. No, it's a seven. That is not enough. Fuck. Just making it worse at this point. Yeah. It's <laughs> like trying, because like Tether, Tether went from doing pretty good to just like ripped open by the branches of these trees. So blood just oozing out of her, and you're just like desperately trying to patch her up. Um turn all right i um pop open uh um why am i blanking on your name septon and uh it's gonna pop a berry in there slap that bad boy shut and i say up and at him cool septon you all have one hp now cool, um, cool cool will you move yourself to where you where you go all right sorry i was looking at the wrong character i move here do the thing, and then I go 5, 10, uh, uh, 15, because it's two diagonals, 20, 25, 30. Cool. Tether, death save for me. One. That's two failures. Um, cool. Uh, the tree boy is going to stand up uh and just like he's sort of like rocking side to side and saying oh, did you guys have fun no not really oh that's too bad i had a blast <laughs> and speaking of blasts and the earth begins to rumble hmm as you look sort of past him down to the south on the map you see a wall of stone just coming directly towards you. So I need um, Turn, Una, and Shandi to make dexterity saving throws for me. Um, nah, it's a flac flaccid 20. Cool, you dodge directly, you roll out of the way as you see it coming, you do have the most time. Una? 
23. 23, you're dexterous. You roll the fuck out of the way. Turn. Crit fail. <laughs> okay. 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Yeah, I'm down after that one. Yep, and you are knocked over to here. Uh, you two manage to roll out of the way as the earth spiral just sort of comes like directly down the middle through there. Um, as it does that, and you roll all the way, so turn gets knocked just <laughs> to the side. You can see his eyes like whited out anime style, like <laughs> landing on the ground. Two of you manage to dodge out of the way and you see uh, what led that um, charge. That what caused that earth wall is a woman, uh, who, a figure, a woman, an elven woman, the most muscular elven woman you've ever seen, uh, start walking towards you through the woods. She cracks her neck, ugh, cracks her, uh, her wrist a little bit, and you can see ripples through her massive muscular arms. Um, she, though probably a similar, likely not too much older than you, her incredibly muscular frames gives her a presence that commands attention. She wears a fitted sleeveless black wushu uniform with red tassels across the front. At the center of each of those tassels is the same laughing bell that's on um, the pauldron of the tree boy. Um, her shoulder length white hair hangs loose and wild and the intric intricate tattoo over her left eye points directly to her confident smirk. Um, she approaches and says, everything's taken care of, Mel. Let's get out of here. Um, Mel uh, turns this off. Hell, but I was just having so much fun. Jesus. All right, well, fun time's over. We got what we came for. Now it's time to get out of here. Um, takes a couple steps forward, um, and Mel sort of like skips back to her, jumps up. She hoists him onto her, uh, her shoulders. He's like sitting on one of her giant shoulders now. Um, she says, Hope to see you again so I can have some fun. And then Mel on her shoulder says, Yeah, you haven't heard the last of us, the Helter Skelter siblings. Um, Pell freezes for a moment and says, What? And Mel says, I don't know, I thought it'd be fun if we had a team name. I, I, let, let's, let's not have it be that. Uh, okay, I'll workshop it. Um, well, next time you see us, we'll have a team name. <laughs> Try not to die. Um, and then she sort of crouches down in a preparation stance and just sprints forward faster than you've seen anyone move and boom, disappears into the woods. No promises. And with that, we are exiting combat. I'd like to zip over to Tether and administer one of my good berries. Um, yeah, yeah can, and I'll do the same to turn. Yeah. <laughs> Good thumbs down. Well, sorry. <laughs> that's, that's Anime is life now. That's what we get to live with now. If I had known this would be an anime. Dude, you know me. What did you... <laughs> it was bound to happen. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And uh, as... Are we getting good buried? Yeah. The two of you got good buried. I'm going to pull a Chelsea. Oh no. No, it's what have pulling, I done? A pulling a phoenix. <laughs> pulling a phoenix. Pulling a phoenix. I'm pulling a Chelsea, pulling a phoenix. Oh, oh what have I done? Do it too, do it too, do it too. We're horny teenagers. No. Uh, yeah, you wake up to Septon's face and uh, turn, you wake up to Sean D's face. <laughs> Boys and Barry. Turn me for roll. <laughs> <laughs> Just RP it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I don't think Turn has the ability to be attracted to anything. I'm making a roll, but I'm not going to tell you anything about it. Fair enough. Um, but as you sort of wake up, uh, the forests, the life in the forest sort of begins to creep back. You start to hear the sound of creatures scurrying through the underbrush. It seems as though the immediate danger of the Helter Skelter siblings, or whatever they'd like to be called, um, has passed. 
Okay, I like this tradition. Every time someone is saved from death saving throws, they have to do the roll. This is Degrassi now. <laughs> this is Degrassi. Listen, listen. I, I think that means that, like, Sean D should make, like, eight or nine, <laughs> like, <laughs> rolls that happened a while ago. <laughs> This worked out perfectly. Uh, normally, I'm the one that gets down. This time, I was the only one that didn't get down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tether just says, Not my best patch. I'll try harder. Yeah, you're uh, bleeding pretty heavily, Tether. So, uh... Mondays, am I right? I think we might just want to, like, get out of here. Don't you still want your mushrooms? Oh, Look, I know our, I know we're, we're all worried about our friend out th- or, or the guy we met once out there. Oh yeah, him like, too. I'm feeling pretty rough. And yeah, Tether, if we see some mushrooms on the way out, we'll grab them. But what's everybody thinking? Did anyone else see the giant bee? I, I saw the giant bee. Um, I came through when <laughs> yeah. everything was done, so... Uh, was, I, was I down? What happened? Bee? No, you're up. No. Oh, okay. Everybody was awake for the bee. Well, uh, I'm assuming you have fought off the rest of... Uh, last thing I knew, there was a giant stone lunging at me. Huh? How did you guys beat the um, giant tree? Um, the giant tree... I was doing pretty... Um, well, I wasn't doing any better than anyone else. I was just very lucky. Um, but, uh, wh- hey, wow. Um, how? Yeah, so it turned out the giant tree was uh, allergic to bees. Um, and I just so happened to have a giant bee stinger now. Mm. All right. Which I guess it's, it's just my new thing. <laughs> Speaking of bees, if anyone sees other more bees, let me know. <clears throat> so, um, I mean, I'm worried about uh, Elias. Right. I. I mean, I think wait, it's better. Wait, wait. I, mean, I used my last spell slot to cast Good Berry again. Nice. Um, I mean, I'm worried. Want... I'm worried too, but like, I don't know if I can keep going. Yeah, so I'm thinking you might be better safe than sorry, given the condition we're all in. Hmm. Well, this, okay. is, this is his clearing, isn't it? Yeah, I think Let's he's... at least... Let's at least have a quick look around, because we didn't really investigate when we got here, we just sort of got attacked. So, at the very least, we might as well, you know, take a look and see what we can find. Okay, I popped, two, I popped two berries in my mouth, and I'm like, anyone else want some? They're, these ones are a little more tart. Um, the skin is a little less rough. <laughs> That's alright. Are you sure? Anyone? I mean... I'll hold on to them in case someone else gets uh, struck down. Okay, she hands two to each of you. Thank you. All right, um, I want to investigate the area. Um, I suppose I'm looking for specifically for Elias's tracks. Then I'm going to call it a survival for you. All right, Elias is not an elf, correct? No. I also realized that... uh, I should have had advantage on all my history checks related to elves because of my uh, favorite thing. favorite enemy. <sighs> oh well. Elias isn't an elf. There. Oh, you never. You didn't see. I'm her. talking about the uh, right, but I'm also talking about the uh, homework I yeah, was doing I, I, on elves. Yeah. I, I know. Uh, all right. Uh, survival check. Twenty two. Twenty two. So yeah, you look around the clearing and you go to sort of the area where you saw him and hung out with him last time and you see slight indentations in the grass that seem a little frostbitten and you now recognize that to be Elias's tracks um 
you look as they sort of go up north of the clearing and curve around, taking them down back south. Um, what likely happened, just from your 22, is you showed up pretty much almost as soon as those two got to this clearing. The Pell chased Elias out and back sort of where you came from. And uh, Mel took care of you here. So it looks like Pell went back towards this way where we came from. Uh, I suppose either way, if we follow these tracks, it'll be leading us back to, back towards the school. Right? Okay. Very well. So, yes. Uh, I said we follow them then. Might, might as well. well as while, he's, while he was looking for tracks, can I glance around for mushrooms? I was about to say, can I make a survival check? Yeah. Go for it. Trying to look for some mushrooms. What yeah. would this roll be? Survival. Survival. Yeah. For right. Twenty-five. Five. Twenty-five. <laughs> yeah, Septon, you're like dizzy and not sure exactly what's going on. Um, Tether, the only thing that sustains you is, is is shroomage, so you instantly know where some of the mushrooms are. You get eight of these night bloom mushrooms. Okay, and then I'm like patting the trees. It's they're gone. The trees seem to have, have calmed down a little bit, but they do seem sorrowful. We'll find him. Maybe next, maybe sometime I can come with some decaying um, livestock to um, bury beneath your roots. The trees seem like they would like that very much. Um, um, Septon, I uh, found mushrooms. I only found eight of them. Um, so if you're disappointed, I really get that. No, but it's great. I don't think the I don't think I actually know how many I need. Um, yeah, oh. I don't have a number here, but like, if you I need more, know. there's a fun trick of you can um, uh, extract some of the spores and spread them around um, an area of fertilizer, and some, some more probably will grow. We'll look into that when we get back. Okay. So you're following the tracks? Yes, I, I'm tracking. Yeah, I'm going to oh, say you? with your 22 before, you're, you've got a good sight on it. And between his icy footsteps and, like, the straight-up indentations in the ground that Pell left, um, it's fairly easy to follow. Uh, they go back a little ways um, behind you until uh, another small clearing where it looks like there was a scuffle of some kind. You see a good deal of blood here. Oh boy. A scuffle or a kerfuffle? Both. Oh wow. I, um, um. Um, you also see several rocks have been smashed. Uh, and it looks like they were smashed not by a weapon but by a fist. Ooh, great. Oh god, Sakura from Naruto's here. Quite, but almost, yeah. Not really a great sign, um, but I suppose I don't really see any sign of uh, our frosty friend. I have a bad this feeling is, this about this. Is pretty much where the tracks end. He's probably dead. <sighs> well, that's unsettling. But if he were dead, why would they take the body? Well, what? what um, you can I, eat it for something. You can did, eat it. You did can... they take it? We well, didn't see them with it. There's no body. Right, True. but we saw both of them and... You didn't. Oh, right. Yeah. Did you see? Uh, uh, You're right, there was no body when well, you she showed up. Guys... Yeah, okay. Did you guys explain all that to she me? She said no. it's... It's been you can relay the information. Or whatever. So, uh... Hmm. That's life! Yeah. Hmm. I suppose, um... Is there... Um... Is there any point in looking around for any more details? <laughs> you okay, or... <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, do you want to investigate this clearing? This clearing? Sure. Okay. 
Go for it. Yeah. I'll investigate. Four. With that, mm. <laughs> letting clear me <laughs> with the four. Uh, well, what, yeah, can what, I, what were you I, looking for specifically? I was looking for uh, disturbances on the ground. Maybe a signs of. Uh, my immediate thought is that they buried mm. the body. Yeah, with that, with that investigate, you don't see any signs of a body being buried. All right. I wanted. Can I take a look at the blood it, itself to see if we can get any more information on whose that might be? Um, I guess. It's uh, what be check is that going to be? Should be a medicine check. Okay. Ooh, eleven. Uh, eleven. It's it's cold. But it's okay. Fresh. Hmm. It certainly seems like it's Elias's blood. Um, you usually bleed when you're alive. But bleeding is an indication that if you continue to bleed, you're going to die. Oh, Tether, I have a quick question. What color is your blood? What do you think? I don't know. This, this is up to you, man. I don't know. Should I go full, should I go full green? No, ooh, I'll, like, go, I'll go like a milky white. Ooh, like, ooh. Like, ro like the robots from the Alien series? Oh, I hate it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like red with white spots. Hey, <laughs> our. He said we'd be able to hear him wherever he was, didn't he? Well, only only when he's singing. And right? I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can recall and play the song he sings. Okay, make a. I'll call that just performance on the whole. Maybe not the stealthiest thing ever, but. Blasted 20. Blasted 20. You play a couple of bars uh, of his melody. The, the, right. some, the stuff you were able to accompany well earlier when you were trying. And you wait. And you wait. And then you hear very, very weakly those bars being sent back to you. Can I get a direction? South. No? South. Oh. <laughs> South. 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 Okay. South. I thought you said F. No. <laughs> F, dude. <laughs> From a southerly Jeez. direction, but it's like it's a, it's a very weak signal. I think I think our boy's hurt, but I think he's uh that way. Um, all right. Sounds good. Let's take a look. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna head down. You're gonna head on down. Right, well, uh, we I headed know, north to get up here, right? Nah, it was you. You headed into the woods, which is let's look at, let's look at our map. Let's say we, because we can do that. We. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the linear impression. <laughs> That's it. That the whole thing. Um, we, and then we switch to here. So, the way the layout works is this is the lake right here. Beyond the lake is the forest. So you headed out and around mm -hmm. to the west. You headed up north into the clearing, which is sort of up around here. The um, signal is coming from way down south over here. So, like, it's south to get home, but it's, like, southeast. Straight south is where the signal is coming from. I vote south, if that's where Elias is. Thing is... I'm worried it, we're going to find him and not be able to do anything. But maybe we could find him and come back. I have two good berries with his name on it. Well, if we combine them, there's eight. Oh. I already ate mine. Let's, take, let's just... What if there's move. something else there with him? Let's move quietly. We can help him. All right, I'll move quietly. I'm right. fine with that. All right, so yeah, you you begin heading south, because <laughs> apparently that's how I say it. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you, you you begin heading that direction, and it, it's a while, um, probably like 40, 45 minutes later, um, you've reached the forest. Um, you come out the end of 
of it. And you can see in front of you sort of rolling green fields. Um, it's still like late summer, so there are stars in the sky that are still visible. Um, and the moon is, is particularly bright this night. Uh, way, way down, probably like three miles away from you, because you can see for, for, for miles, three, f maybe four miles away from you, you see a crumbling old tower um, with some other ruins sort of stationed around it. Um, other than that, you see several farmsteads um, a little, even a little farther away, um, as well as a large pond on the other side of the, these ruins. Um. All right. So, what's the plan here? Do you know anything in particular? Or just. Um. Well, there's many places to look. We don't have much to go on other than that he's in this direction. Maybe if uh, can you try singing again? To uh. I mean, I can try. It might attract a little bit of attention, though, if anything is near here. I will whisper. Guys, maybe we should just, like, tell an adult. What? Let's I, get yelled at if, again for being out I in the woods. I don't care. If, <gasps> oh no, yeah, we're gonna get in trouble. Time, I'm done. Alright, alright. Oh, I'm kinda, I'm kinda hey. also feeling like I might drop dead at any second. I feel lighter. It's a lot of noise in my house. <laughs> <at> the <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of noise going on. Um, listen, I'm thinking I might like drop dead at any second. I might be down to like I don't know, rest up or something before we investigate. But I'm also worried about how much time. Uh. Um. Our friend. Elias. You guys Elias. don't even know his name. <laughs> Elias. No, that's Peter forgetting. Um, you, guys, you guys would know this because the schedule was posted already. The only class you have tomorrow is a tactics class at 9 a.m. Other than that, the rest of your day is free. Yeah, but... You know, well, given that many of us are wounded, then... I say we, we rest up tonight and come back here after tactics in the morning. That's kind of what I'm thinking. School. Uh, I'm just going to lean down to like either the grass or the trees or whatever and say, did two beings pass this way? And if so, where did they go? No. No one came this way. Two beings didn't pass this way. Did two beings with a third one pass no. this way? Two beings. Two with a third didn't. Did anyone or any group of people pass this way? Four beings passed this way. One was unconscious. And okay, there's... Okay, um, there's three of them, and I think they have Elias in a cart. That's so strange. The cart? Well, three of them. Who else was with? Wait. Exactly. Where did that cart come from? I feel like that's not the important part. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, she seems strong. Oh, I didn't see her. Never mind. We didn't see any sign of that before. Maybe those two were like working for they, somebody. He also didn't Maybe they met up with somebody well. else. I mean, they could have just had the cart waiting outside the forest. We what kind of cart do you think it? No, okay, that's not important. We searched the area for tracks and we saw the one set of tracks chasing off. Yeah, maybe they met somebody outside of the forest who had a cart. And maybe that person is like a lot more dangerous than those two crazy guys. I, I was too weak to give any help home. with you guys for one of them. It's not adding up to me. Doesn't make any sense. Something's messing here. 
but Fain, I guess none of you will. Oh, a, a horse with, for the cart. So let's just go back. Sure, give up. It was that the missing piece. I'm sorry. No, it's just it doesn't make sense. There's too much I don't know. All right, would you be happy if we investigated a little closer? I want to keep going until I get my answers. I think that's the only thing that'll make me happy. So if you decide you want to go back, I, well, I mean, clearly I'm outnumbered here. Most of you, I think we should go back, so. I don't. I, I can't want. force you to go on. It's not my choice to make for you. So. Yeah. Do what you want. I I I don't I don't, I don't want to disappoint any more people, and so I don't want to disappoint um, uh, the the school, um, and I don't want to disappoint you, my friend, and so I don't know. It's only like 10 p.m. by the way, right now. Tether, you won't disappoint me. That's what people who get disappointed say. It's only That's, 10 p.m.? Yeah. It's also what people who don't get disappointed say. Hey, gang, why not a short rest? Rest to um, both the ones there. We are in a hurry. Why not we <laughs> quick, take a quick short rest and then move in? Mm. I thought it was like two. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you, you went to the house at eight. Um, Johnson fell asleep immediately. The song happened like 8.30. Tops went into the woods, had a fight, left. Interesting. What do you think? Maybe a little short rest and then we move in on this tower? All right, fine. Let's do a short rest. Okay. Cool. You can heal up everybody, everybody gets an extra D6 of HP. Hey, so okay, a little song. <laughs> what song do you play? I, well, I'll play the song. Okay. Why not? That's kind of sad. Do I still get a small response? No, no response this time. Ooh, that's that? not great. Michael, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, just wanted to make sure. <laughs> hey, plus a D6. I will be right back. I need to see what is going on. He's yelling. He he left with his headphones. But I don't trust I don't trust that. <laughs> he's just he's gotta know what's happening at all times. <laughs> it's like a wired headphones. Why did he keep it with him? Okay, maybe I just haven't done short rest in a while, but we don't add our constitution modifier you do. with You do, you do? You do? Yeah. roll to each roll that you decide. Yeah. It's basically like rolling for HP, but I mean, it's, I guess it is literally rolling. For HP, but hey, does anybody want a bunch of rainbow hair ties? Because I can't uh, use them anymore. Yes. <laughs> well, send them over. I'll get them your way somehow. <laughs> cool. All right, we're all and rested I'm up. Also, I'm also gonna eat the good up. berries. Cool. He's just dragging the computer with him while wearing the headphones, says I see. <laughs> Definitely possible. We did we we put in the extra strength serum to his to his um to his vitamins this time, right, Winfield? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um it was in the fertilizer in the in the terrarium. Yeah. Really, I think I'm really excited. I to think see he's. Uh, I think he's been lost forever. Peter two handles things. I don't know. Well, because we put him in that in that house, like without asking anybody. So they might have eaten him. Yeah. <laughs> might, be, might be time for Peter three. Regardless, even without Peter, what's the plan? Where are we going once the rest ends? Once the rest ends, we resume the search. Cool. Yeah, you uh, you had. <laughs> Uh, you head on out. You, you keep keep walking. I hope everybody's keeping track of how much damage they do to me because I haven't been. Um. <laughs> um, can I do like a running stream of whispering? To, uh, is it like you said? It was a grassy, yeah, grassy area, right? Grassy fields. 
passing did three walkers in a cart pass over you so the thing about grass is it's not intelligent enough to really give you a response um did you get owie in the last hour all, all it knows <laughs> last is hour. Ooh, nice ouch ouch and it doesn't have like memory per se okay so like when you try to talk to it it either says ooh nice or ouch ouch and like that's, that's okay you get. trees can give you some basic things but smaller than that it, it, it's a little rough sometimes um so yeah, you, you continue on your way, you, you go through, until eventually you do see a cart laying empty in the middle of a field. Uh, there is a small figure sitting on a rock in front of the cart. Hi. Look like it's noticed us yet? Oh, all right. It's facing, facing the other direction. <laughs> facing our direction? The other direction. Oh, yeah. All right. Should we sneak up? Or should we go and introduce ourselves? I think we should probably sneak. It's oh. probably that fucking kid again. It's much smaller than that kid. Um, oh, unless that kid had a sudden growth. Uh, <laughs> Frank. Um, I don't think it the kid. You did get the kid's name. It's Mel, by the way. Mel. Pell and Mel. Who's Pell? What was the lady? Gonna, right? The third one's like Dell or Shell or. Well, no, Pell Mel is. Pell Mel is a. What? Pell Mel is a phrase. Oh. Oh well, I thought that was fun, but I guess <laughs> I guess it doesn't. <laughs> guess it's nothing. Can't wait to meet the season two antagonists, Helter and Skelter. Did you not hear what I said to Helter Skelter siblings? Literally? I heard it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're cousins. <laughs> no, oh, They're the same people. <laughs> I suppose it's neat. Are we still in the forest, or is no, this you're, now? No, you're on grassy fields now. Yeah. Grassy fields. All right. Let us sneak up and get sure. Make, the sweet, sweet self checks. Or, what if I go up there and introduce myself and distract him while I talk, and as I talk, you can see if he's hostile or friendly, and if he's hostile, he attacks me, and you can get the jump on him. That's what we'll do. I'll do that. Nope. <laughs> Just oh, all right. off. <laughs> oh. 23 stealth. Cool. 23 stealth. Nice. Nice. Turn. Turn. 18. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Um, yeah, no, you, the four of you walk very stealthily, and then you notice Tether just strolling out past you. Go, Tether. I believe in you. Oh, turn yeah. support. Uh, how, how far away is she? How far uh, away is she? At this point, like, ten feet. You're, okay. You're... Uh, and I'm gonna, like, start, like, moving around, so, like, if he turns to see me, he doesn't turn around and see them. Sure. In your in your brain, Tether. Let's You're gonna hear Tether, please. Please. Please come Hi. back. Hi. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Tether out loud says hi, but the figure doesn't turn. Because there's already a turn. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna keep going around so I can face the figure. Cool. Uh, as you get closer, you realize it is a goblin sitting on a rock staring up at the moon um, and as you sort of breach around the side of it you see that it has a large lollipop sticking out of its mouth and its eyes are just glazed over there once was a goblin who sat on a rock keep going stood in the meadow just <laughs> rubbing his eyes. <laughs> lollipop <laughs> <laughs> And I feel like in turn, Ted, pop and rock rhyme. <laughs> Put it away! Put it away! There it is. <laughs> it's not a real DPS session. Can I take the lollipop out of his mouth? Uh, you take it out of its mouth, and as you do so, he withers before your eyes. Oh. Slumps to the ground, dead. Guys, um, it was a good idea. We didn't eat the candy. Right. 
the lollipop as well, as you pull it out, just like rots and like falls off the stick. Perhaps we Can should I search the cart. I maybe Elias left us a note. I don't know. Elias sure some left ice, some like icy residue. A lot of blood. Yeah. Yeah. Same same blood you found in the clearing. But I'm gonna look for tracks to see if if it. like anything left this area. Yeah. Can I listen real hard? Thirteen. Um, you can listen. Make a perception check. Listen real hard. Um, the tracks are harder to notice out. The the grass is taller, so it's harder to see the actual ground. Um, there were certainly some people here, but it's hard to tell where they went. Are there any fireflies out? Um, yeah, it's the end of summer. I'd say uh, it's 10 p.m. though. That's a little late yeah. for fireflies, so maybe mm-hmm. like the last stragglers are there. I'm gonna chase one. Okay. And grab one. Best. Uh, and what'd you get? Oh, it was a nine. Okay, yeah, don't hear anything. And, like, the direction we walked to find this cart, was it generally, like, the same direction as the tower was in, or...? Yeah. I mean, the, the closest things to you are there's two farmsteads and there's that sort of ruined tower. Ruined tower is directly south and the farmsteads are over east and west of you. So what do we sh- should we check out first? Do we think that they left from here on foot? Why would they leave the cart here? Maybe they took it and this is where they took it and so they left it where they took it. Unless they left, left, like, maybe they f- flew away or something? Can they fly? Teleport? Uh, maybe. Do the tracks continue? Uh, I don't know, I couldn't find anything. Can I survival for tracks? Sure. I have a high survival. 17 plus 7 is so much. 23, right? Is that math? 24. 24. Um, that yeah, was so you, close. You, you do find very heavy set tracks. Um, you're also helped by the fact that you can listen to the grass, and some of the grass is continuously saying ow. Ow. Um, because it's been just fully crushed uh, by heavy footsteps, heavy, heavy footsteps that lead more south. Directly south to the tower? In the direction of the tower, yeah. What'd you find, Heather? Um... I didn't see the, um, um, woman, but was she, like, big and heavy? We were already told that, I think, Uh, so I... Well, I didn't know if they did a physical description. Let's assume they did. It's always physical for them. (laughs) I don't know what that means, but (laughs) I felt like saying that. Um, I think they, um, it's, so it's just, oh, well, I think I found the elf and woman's tracks. They're going, um, farther south towards the, towards the tower. Um, she really did a number on this grass. I'm just going to start, like, trying to see if I can fluff up and unfold the grass. I mean, some of it's dead for sure, but you, you save what you can. All right. So, um, do we want to take a look at the tower? I think that's probably where this is headed. All right. Well, then let's go. All right. Hey, you we should be careful, to... though. Head towards the tower. Are you heading stealthily towards the tower? I let's stealth. Go ahead and roll it. Another flaccid torn. 19. Nice. Flaccid 20. Nice, I guess. 23. Why are we so stealthy? Stealthy group. Five. Yeah, Five. There's, there's somebody. Oh, there Always you go. Be I, wasted my, I wasted my nat 20 on the dead goblin. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Um, yeah, I mean, on the whole, you're stealthy enough. Uh, Shandy's, you've got this unwieldy thing that you have to deal with now, so... It's, it's hampering your stealthiness whether or not you have it on your arm or just like she you're trying to find like a place to put it 
Um, so that makes sense. Yeah. Um, um, as we stealth, can I just whisper to Una, I don't think this is a good idea, but I, I, I don't want to say no. Uh, yeah, in your head, you just hear same. Okay. Cool. As you approach the tower, you begin to hear the sound of... I mean, it's sort of hard to describe. It sounds like rocks exploding. Sort of repeatedly. Earthbenders. Well, there's an airbender. Mm -hmm. So this is the earthbender. Not anymore. I'm all out of spell slots. No, um, when um, um, the guy was thrown off the uh, tree, he um, uh, air palmed. I'm I'm sorry. You're saying you're out of spells. I. And you're still making us go toward this. I'm not making you do anything. It's your choice. If you want to go home, I'll see you tomorrow. Or maybe not. Yeah. Why'd you make me walk Are there any all wind? the way there? Because I had to carry this one. I know, but my legs are so tired. I should work out more often. That's not really my whole thing. I'm surprised you're not fat with the amount of candy you eat. Two voices not making any attempt to be quiet. Are Coming there from... any? So basically, at the base of the tower, there's like a ruined building. So there's rectangular walls and then a tower up behind it. Are there any windows or anything like that? Um, it's crumbling stone, so there's definitely cracks in it, yeah. All right, and turn around. I'm getting the sense that some of you don't want to be here. And that's fine. But if that's the case, you should probably go now. Because I am interested in getting a closer look and seeing what's going on in there. Out of concern for my dear friend Elias, who I've only met once, but I just have a feeling about that one. So, um... If I get caught, I'm going to run as fast as I can. Um, but if any of you would like to get a head start, please do it. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. But if anyone wants to stick around and take a look at this with me, then I'd be happy to have you with me. I would be happy to accompany you, as long as you can ensure we don't engage in combat. I just don't think many of us are ready for that, given what we just went through. Right, I mean, we rested a little, but like... But we, we barely survived an encounter with the one. F, you have my word that if combat breaks out, I will distract them and you can all get away. But you see, that's, um, um, no one's going to want to go back because, um, we don't want to leave you here alone. And if there's combat and you distract them so we can go, I don't see any of us going because we don't want to leave you here. Well, I guess that's a choice you'll have to make, but I don't want to go back without taking a look first. Hmm. Let's... Let's just see if we can peek inside or something without I, alerting that's not, you. That's my plan, but I was giving um, you the I'm option really... to move away first, so not all of us are caught if things go poorly. I'm really good at climbing, so I could get a good look over the walls. I can be sneaky. If you're volunteering and taking a look, then go right ahead, but I'm not making you. Okay, I'll do it. And I'm gonna try to sneak, climb. You guys have made that pretty close stealthily enough, but I need you to make another one to actually like look at yeah. this place. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna guide myself. Give me a four. Are we all sneaking four? Or are we just letting Tether sneak? It's up to you. Um, I, I said I'd go alone, just in case. Is there a window? No, but there's cracks in the wall. Okay. 
I'm going to draw my longbow, and I'm going to keep my distance and just watch Tether. 26 in total. Cool. Cool. So yeah, you climb up the wall and you sort of peek your mushroom head over it. Um, and you see on the other side, sitting up on the wall, sort of dangling his feet back and forth, um, Mel looking bored and just like unwrapping and unwrapping candy. Um, and you can see Pell on the ground, like kicking rocks up, like getting her feet up under the crumbled rocks, throwing it up and just <laughs> punching them into oblivion um, over and over again as they continue to have their sort of asinine conversation about why Pell, why Mel had to walk instead of getting carried. Um, you also see in the tower behind like an iron cage door, Elias, who seems to have been bandaged up very haphazardly, um, unconsciously laying there. So the iron cage door is in the tower or in the courtyard? Tower. So tower. we've got a square courtyard, square courtyard. The tower is up on this side. It opens, like, the end of the courtyard opens into the tower where there's an iron cage. Okay. So I don't see a third person? No. Okay. There was... You don't see a third person. Yeah, there's three people, but I don't see the third potential third person. Yes. Yeah. You've seen a third person since leaving. Oh, oh the goblin. The, the goblin. Always forgetting about the goblin. Well, I saw him for a second and then I, he disintegrated, so. Put it didn't away, make put it, it. Away, put it 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 away. <laughs> Okay, can I head back down and head back towards yep. them? Why was Hi. that a goblin? Yeah, the cart. Hi guys. Many, like I do, yeah, Phoenix. Do you want me to do you want me to explain it? It's pretty. It's it's it's, it's not. It's not like a big conspiracy. No, I don't. Okay. Don't don't pull me back to the eleven room. <laughs> okay. I'll never forgive ya. <laughs> um, so I saw, I, I saw, um, what I probably the, the elven woman you guys um, described, and I saw Mel. They're just ch talking about nothing, um, just like sitting, sitting, sitting around, smashing rocks. She smashes rocks. Um. Real good. I saw Elias in behind a um a a metal um cage door. Um they seemed to have patched him up. He seemed unconscious. Um but he's I don't think he's in mortal danger right now. Hmm. I wonder what they're waiting for. Una. Mm-hmm. Dos. I got an idea. <laughs> yeah, no, Septon did that. Oh, of course he did. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you remember what we did at the banquet? Mm-hmm. I think we could do it again, but with something that's not a mouse. Yeah. Like, My I got some illusions. Is that certain creatures uh, I can't talk to? So, if these people are as crazy as and uh, powerful as they seem, I there's a chance I might not be able to talk to them. Mm. By I, the way, just, I, like, if you need I can't to talk to creatures. I could truly cast speak with animals. No, no, no. no. Oh. I just mean telepathically. Oh, like sorry. Fun fact: Colrill can't get into their head. Um, tell, this is... tell a... what oh. now? <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> um, this is sort of out of out of the game, but it's not clear, but Mel is an ASMR. Um, that's mm -hmm. why with the blue eyes. Yeah. All I'm saying is like, what if we were able to like make it look like somebody was on the other side of the courtyard? Maybe you throw some voices around. It, it, they just—they just hear it in their head. 
Right, it's but like... Throwing, but... I can throw voices around. My point is, we make a distraction, we get our boy, we get out of here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. You said there's a cage? He's, Did you say that? He's, yeah. he's locked in the tower. It's a, it's Anybody an open, got like an, it? It's like an open caged iron door to the tower. Door, yeah. Um. Anybody got any ideas there? Um. I can. I can pick locks. Can pick the lock. All right. So we gotta get you inside. So we gotta get them outside. Distract. Right. Them. But now, how do we do that? I got illusions. I could just have like. I could be like in the bushes and just make an illusion like walk by so they're like yo somebody's outside i can use thaumaturgy and also make noise right right um if um if um Luna wants to climb on my back i can climb us over the wall pretty easily i think are you are you medium yeah i'm small <laughs> All right, so you can get Una in, and then. But I don't know how to get. I would. I don't know how we get Elias out. I'll try to do that. You can a... pick oh, a lock. Wait, wait. Well, there is a door to the tower, right? Yeah. I mean, that's the. That's how they'll come out of the tower. I'm assuming. Oh yeah, was there another en- entrance and exit in- into the courtyard? No. Uh, I'm gonna show you the map. Okay. God. There's a map. <laughs> There's a map. I just need to move you guys to the right spot. Um, so. Ah. Oh no. This courtyard here is the, the courtyard yeah. that they're in right now. Uh, Pell is in the middle, smacking rocks. Mel is sitting up on the edge of the wall, looking down at Pell. Um, Elias is with this. Is, there's an iron cage door right here at the at the entrance. Oh, I'll move Elias up to it. Oh, I can't. Whoops. Um, there's there's an iron cage door right here that's locked. This tower is ruined and crumbled, so it is enclosed on the top. All right. There seems to be one point of entrance, and it's. The locked iron cage. I'm thinking we go to the back. Um, we make a distraction. They come running out the front and go around the back. And then... We... <laughs> right. And that's when the two of you sneak in there. Quickly unlock. Uh, yes, Tether? Um, I'm sorry. Um, but... um. How, how can we guarantee if you make a distraction that both will leave? Well, we will hope that both... Well, I'm Herb. British there. <laughs> um, you had another slip earlier, too. I forgot what I know. word it was. I, I forget. It was like one word. Yeah. Uh, we'll hope that... Hope's a hard one. Uh... Hope. Wait, are you Irish or Scottish? Hope. Both. I feel like hope... hope. We, hey, I, it's this. It doesn't matter what it is. It's just turn, all right. Uh, oh right, turn. Yeah, Ireland and Scotland don't exist in this world. It's just turns, X. We'll look up if. Uh... I'm, we'll try uh, our best and pray that both of them come out of there. Thoughts and prayers. We will do our best to uh, make sure they come out. <laughs> oh, is it is it Lumiere time? Is it finally Lumiere time? He's turn. back. Turn, you okay? <laughs> it's not turn. It's not Lumiere. It's, I know, but I was trying to keep it stream relevant. <clears throat> turn smokes the cricket. <laughs> All right. Um, Candy, I don't really know if there's any. Um, I mean, I can always keep a lookout and jump into support if things get rough. But, like, what if we do if they one of them doesn't leave? Do we abandon the plan? How tall well, is the wall that Mel is on? 40 feet. 
Body heat. Do we abandon the plan? Well, if, if both of them don't come out, then it's not worth sending just one or two in. What if... Alright, if only one comes out, we gotta keep making more distractions. Uh, right. Assuming we don't want to get caught, though. Let... If one comes out... If only one comes out, maybe if you can you use thaumaturgy to mm, no, you can only use it on your like own voice, right? No, I can create a a sound coming from a point within range, but the right. range is about thirty feet. What I'm thinking is like if you could try to mimic the the person's voice and be like, "Hey, no, right. I need help." I could do that. <laughs> But wouldn't the real one also hear it? Yeah, Hi, but, but they can't. So would the other one. Yeah. So it um... would be well if it's extremely suspicious. Then chances are both of them will be drawn out. Unless they believe people, they're being drawn out because people are trying to come in. Tether, you really have a knack for planning up for the worst, don't you? Um. Um, let's say years of practice. Amy. Well, what if, what if me and Una are in there and like one or both of them come back? Um, and I guess we're gonna have for, to fight. That'll be for us to try to prevent. <sighs> All right. So what are we doing? Ooh. Um, I didn't gonna... see you get healed, Tether. Right? I don't know, probably. I think they left before we stabilized Tether. If they're like, oh, where's your other group? I mean, they were gone when I woke up. It's true, they only know three of us were conscious. Couldn't they just assume they would heal? We'd be heal each other? Maybe not. They saw us heal Una. Where are you going with this, Una? I I'm just saying it wouldn't raise suspicion if Tether or maybe somebody else is missing. I mean, clearly I gotta sneak in unless somebody else is good at picking locks. So you're saying, like, instead of like illusion distractions we just actually distract them uh like do the illusion but if they start talk they're not really talkers i don't know oh they're if things they're talkers they're they're true. gabbing it up right now yeah it, it, if the, they the start... dynamic from as, as far as you can tell the dynamic is mel talks a lot and pell tells him to shut up um and that's sort of how they live if it seems to be like them raising suspicion, I'm just saying it. It'll be more suspicious if they see Tether or one of you that was down. Maybe. Like, All right, hear me out. Hear me out. This goes back to what I was originally talking about. Yeah. The whole, the whole banquet hall thing, right? Yeah. What if the illusion I make is like an image of our boy? Okay. And you like... Our boy? Yeah, Elias. Uh, our boy and Blue. you throw like the words in his head of like, let me go. Or like, run. And we just try to like, spook him out of there. Maybe uh, thunderclaps from Mr. Thaumaturgy over here. I wouldn't know how thaumaturgy works. Um... <laughs> I can make sounds of thunder. Spoo yeah, exactly. Spooky sounds. Um, maybe we can see if we can just get in their head a little. We think. All right. I, I, one of us had the ability to speak into someone's mind. It'd be so convenient right now. I. I'm joking. I don't say that. What? <laughs> <laughs> Literally the plan. Did you say it or not? What? Did you say it or not? What are you talking about? <laughs> Alright. I I think 
I'm sorry, that if the initial distraction is not a clear success, then we immediately abandon the plan and go back to the campus and tell uh, and tell some, someone I'm more capable than us because I only know myself and I know I am a weak, weak person and will not be able to stand against any of them. And so I will not be able to protect you or Elias and it, this will fail. And I'm right, sorry. I mean, if the distraction doesn't work, we're not going to go in there. Makes sense to me. Works for me. Let us give it a try. All right. Wait, what are we doing? <laughs> All right. Here's, here's what I'm thinking. I make an image of Elias standing at the doorway. You throw Elias's voice into their heads. They maybe they let you say let him go or something. Uh, hold on. Uh, I need to be able to see them. All right. Um. And. So what if we do maybe a Maybe threw a crack in the wall? Get him outside. Make like a little distraction of Elias running outside. Running around outside, you know? Oh, the illusion's not going to be super complicated. Oh. Okay. Yeah, and they'd probably just be able to look into the cage. I can try that. Right, but we're trying to confuse. Okay. I could... Could I like peek through a crack maybe? Definitely see through one of the cracks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you guys can move yourself on this map, I'm pretty sure. So. Position, All right. Position as you. I'm assuming actually me and Una are actually. That's the. Uh, like, Una, yeah. I don't. I don't oh. think I would move so close to the door. Ha! <laughs> uh oh. Wait. <laughs> just so remember. Uh, remember. But all right. <laughs> the plan <laughs> is to have them run out the front and go around to the back. So position yourself. <laughs> Accordingly. Yeah, so when they leave from the front, me and Una will immediately climb from via the back so we're closer to Elias, get him out, and then go through the front. You said the roof's caved in, right? Of the tower, yeah. Oh, but not of the no. big square. The big square is... Uh, Alright. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Tether, if you can climb and the tower doesn't have a roof, why don't you just go down in the... Roof. Oh, the tower does have a roof. The tower has a roof. Square. square does not. Rectangle. All right. Um, okay. Let's make this distraction. So, am I Wait. telling Pell th to let him go, or ha ha ha, I've escaped? I feel like scaring them is a better idea. Hmm. Okay. No. All right. Um. Mm -hmm. All right, let's distract and get him out here. That's the plan everybody's going for. Okay, wait. Who's? I'm trying to figure out. Is it going to be Una, or Se or Septon, or Can... Turn? Who's going to be making this deception? Together, it's, a, it's an effort. Together. all of them together. Yeah. My question yeah. is: Can Mel see Una and Tether from where they are? Uh, if he turned around, yes. So maybe don't be on that side of the building yet. Or we could go. Here. I don't know if we can really chat about it at this point. I mean, no, well, I'm, I'm assuming you're planning, planning on where you're going. Planning. Yeah. Well, right. okay, so but you would be right, if I'm if I'm there, then it's got to be a uh, turn to make uh, the noise. You'll have to see both of them. Uh. Well, couldn't you? Well, I need to be within thirty feet of them. Ah. That's it. Right. It's not a matter. Of, well, it's, it is. It is a matter of seeing. Yeah. But. So, uh, should then we make the noise ourselves? If you guys make the noise, yeah. I guess so. Listen, um, Una, Move. when you're in there, I guess you won't be able to see them until they come back in. I was going mean... to say that if one of them starts heading back, you could always fool them into thinking that something else is going on. If like. If one of them starts coming towards me, I can always use this demon voice that has worked well in the past. What demon voice? <laughs> what? Like, no, what it's just, demon? It's just like something I, like a prank I play. 
<laughs> the truth comes out. You can hear the gears turning. <laughs> That's... I didn't. I didn't know you could do that. It's well, very I can, interesting. I mean, I can speak telepathically. So I've been sometimes... hearing this strange demon voice. Do you know anyone else on the campus who can do that? <laughs> I mean, if there are other halflings, maybe. I'm pretty sure all halflings can do it. I'm sure there are other halflings on the, at the back at the school. So I saw that makes several. sense. Yeah. Those so sneaky far. halflings. Is that really what's been? Uh, all right. Well. Uh, <laughs> That's neither here nor there. I'll worry about that when we get back. Um. All right, I'm ready. What sound are we making? Thunder, ghosts. Ooh, your time is at hand. What? What are we doing? Um, I don't know. But before um, me and Una go, because I trust Una to do this well, I'm gonna guide a uh, turn for the inevitable roll. <laughs> Thank you for your guidance. I won't need it, but I'll gladly I use was, it. I was just gonna make like an image of a person like walking by the front entrance. Do you want the sound to accompany that image? Pr probably, yeah. Big footsteps. I, do we have any clues about like what what would freak them out? They're like. You know, I'm. I'd be pretty freaked out by a bear. <laughs> You continue to hear the sound of her <laughs> crushing rocks with her bare hands in the middle of the courtyard. Um. Mm -hmm. Right. It's a. It's a. What if you just say, have a random person say, "I found him. I'm gonna run and get help." Ooh. That may work. That's real. Strange. Yeah, and I could make like. And, and, like, the image of a person, like, flicking away from the doorframe. Right. So, are we, are we going All to right. do that? Sure, let's do that. Um, All right. And then, except when once we do that, I'm going to turn and just sort of run around the yeah, corner. Yeah, we got to duck around the corner right after we do it. Uh, let's definitely hope that... Um, well, I don't know what happens if Mel doesn't move. We figure that out when we You'll get see there. us coming. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we figure it out when we get there. I think we should agree if if, one, if not both of them leave, we immediately abandon the plan and go back to. And we we'll run away. Okay. All right, fine. All right, we doing it? Yeah. 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 After that past hour of planning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the best kind of planning. No. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Let's begin. As as they walk around the corner, um, Tether's gonna say to Una, I put my foot down, kinda. Did you see did you hear that? Did my best. It's honestly kinda of manipulative him to be like, oh, <laughs> like, I'm not making you come. Like, if you're gonna protect me, I'm not making you. I mean, yeah, but it's also pretty kind of noble if you look at it. Yeah, and... exactly. And he knows that. He knows we're just gonna. He knows we're gonna save him. It's not like it. Yeah. <laughs> I love that with teenage school drama the, and the D and D, we get actual teenage school drama. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's perfect. All right. All right. Are you ready? Ready. Ah, uh, I get thaumaturgin. All right. And I'll. Ooh, we should start climbing now. Cool. So you, yeah. what do you thaumaturge specifically? I thaumaturge the sounds of footsteps. So I get three effects: the sounds of footsteps, the sounds of voices, call in, be like, "Hey, over here!" Blah blah blah, <laughs> and the sound of an immediate. Um, sort of thud right from the the space where uh where right right by the doorway sort of to catch their attention right and i'm gonna drop a little animation of like a person like who was around the doorway like ducking back to cool. <laughs> actually actually i'll do that like 
slightly after the sound to get them to look, see it, and yeah. Um, cool. So, uh, you do that, and as the thing peeks around, the two of you see the wall whoosh, explode outwards through your illusion. Uh-oh. What the I'm rest of you who are looking into the courtyard see is as soon as the sound happened, Pell kicked a rock up into the air, spun around with the bottom of her foot, just kicked the rock directly towards the sound. It collided whoosh, into the wall and just whoosh, burst it outwards. Um, hey, she, can she, we? She did so with a snarl and then afterwards says, oh, it's my time to play. Um, and as she as she does that, she like cracks her necks and clenches her fists. And as she does so, rocks from the ground pile around her fists until she's basically got boxing gloves made of rocks. She like sets her stance and they light up with super hot molten like heat throughout them. Um, and she just like stands and looks straight at the door. Um, on the other hand, uh, really Mel just Mel goes, oh. Uh, okay, you can take this one. And just, like, puts his hands behind his head and keeps swinging his feet while staring down into the courtyard. How would you like to proceed? The second this happened, Tether immediately starts going back down. <laughs> we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. I'm going to start moving. It's not to get caught immediately. <laughs> um... Am I able to tell at all that Mel isn't coming? Uh, you can sort of look up and see his blonde hair just sort of bobbing back and forth uh, in the same spot it was before. Could you hear him saying, like, oh, you you take care of it. Yeah, I think I'm also gonna duck out and try to because I assume I assume if if she shot something at the wall, the chunk of wall in front of me is <laughs> exploded. Well, it was it, mm-hmm. the chunk of wall that got hit is the one like directly next to the entrance, so like that five foot square took a rock straight okay. to it. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna start a moving. I'm trying to get out of here. And we dash him towards. Oh. Sean D, what are you uh, what are you up to? Sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna. I guess I was probably peeking through a crack, or at the very least, heard what sounded like a bomb go off. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so I'm gonna. I'm also gonna start moving um, away from the building and sort of trying to get a uh, read on where everyone else is at. Cool. Got her. <laughs> um, it's probably for the best cool. as in an explosion of flame from her feet, Pell bursts through the remains of the wall land sort of like <clears throat> fist down outside of the courtyard um she's looking pretty much directly ahead though so it doesn't quite notice all of you um you see however a ripple of earth sort of like <clears throat> shoot up in front of her like it did before um can i keep moving or are we doing like turns here <laughs> all right i suppose we're leaving no i won't do that <laughs> Just get the fuck out of here. Off screen. <laughs> Bye! Can I, yeah, can I run to, oh, okay. As soon as Cats 2020 <laughs> is near me, Stop. I'm gonna be, I'm just gonna, like, within, like, 30 feet, I'll just telepathically be like, Yo, out of here, out of here! Blake, on our maps, we don't have the grid, but I see on stream there is a grid. You can <gasps> click view... And then oh, and show it's, a, yeah. it's up to us to show oh, it. Okay. I accidentally showed coordinates. Well. That's <laughs> awful. <laughs> Night to E5. Hmm. Luna, I can't move until you move. So, oh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm off you. I'm off you. Well, no, but like physically on the map. Ah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm running. We running. We all just running. We're just going north. I guess I'm just gonna keep running too, so. We'll do a big arc around. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, they didn't As come from the back. north. What? Yeah, we were going. Sorry, no, we this went is, south to go This, isn't, this yeah. isn't correct. Oh! Where you, you oh. guys oh, okay. are headed further south right now. Um, this isn't yeah, line up. That's fine. We should just go further south and we're, loop around. We're gonna have to take a big arc <laughs> to avoid <laughs> this lady. That's fine. Asthma check. Okay. Cool, yeah, you, yeah, you, you run away. Uh, you hear 
just a roar of anger as Pell goes, Ah, the damn bastards ran away! And Mel goes, Well, maybe you shouldn't run off so quickly. It's no fun if you don't play with your food. Um, and just some more, like, anger from from Pell, and then a series of explosions, and you see, like, literal plumes of flame spurt up in front of the tower. Yeah, so... So that, uh, the rescue plan is we're gonna nix that idea, and <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll circle back to that uh, at a later date. Um, yeah, for let's now, go ahead. Let's get back to the, get back to the school. Cool. Uh, before you leave, you do manage to hear, because they're not being terribly quiet about it, you hear Mel yell out, Hell, you have to quiet down! We have to stay here until after school closes tomorrow so they can come pick it up. Hell goes, Ugh! Fine. That's sort of all you hear from them. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it didn't work. No, it, it went about as poorly as it could have, actually. Oh, well, we could have gone worse. <laughs> <laughs> but barring a physical confrontation. Yeah, you, uh, it was a good plan. You didn't count on her being a fucking martial artist with the reflexes of a god. But that's, Lava that's, bender. that's her thing. <sighs> that was my stupid suggestion with the, um, we found them. Sorry. Um, that wasn't your suggestion. Well, yeah, it was. That was my suggestion. What? The, yeah, the um, when, to have them say like we found them and then run away. Hey, hey, it's oh. nobody's fault, all right. Let's just head back home. We're all safe for now. We'll come back tomorrow and get it. We can make a plan. We can sleep this one off. We, we are not going back here unless we've got. All of Sheena's army behind us. Sheena's army ain't coming with us. I mean, we don't know unless we ask. Yeah. You, you, you did hear them implicate someone at the school as being part of this plot. Um, at, at, at the end there. No, all, wait, all you said was after school. We have to someone's. wait. We have to wait here until school closes tomorrow so they will be able to come and pick it up. Probably could have phrased it better, but mm. in essence, they, got it. they've implicated that they have a contact who is part of the school. Una, you said that somebody had been asking about our good friend Elias. Yeah. Well, maybe tomorrow, before we make any hasty moves, we could investigate that lead. Yeah. But for now, I say we get back as quickly as possible before they decide to follow us. And easily enough, uh, about an hour, hour and a half later, you manage to make your way back through the back door of your house with the still sleeping Johnson out front. I mean, Johnson's a sweet people. We've already told one faculty member about him. Did we? Cool. Yeah. But they suggested we not tell anybody else. Mm, yeah. Hey, Tether, can I see some of those mushrooms? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, there's eight of them. Um, I, one or two might have been squished during that, but um, I think most of them are fine. Here. Can I see, like, four of them? And if you want to, like, try to grow the other four, like, under the porch or something? I'd love, I'd love to. Go for it. I think these might be helpful. I, uh, I go to bed. Sounds good. I still want to wake up a little early, if I can. Yeah, fair enough. I'm gonna stay up, because I only need four hours, until it's, like, the exact four hours I need before I have to get up to... Yeah. Because I want to get started on that little garden. Yeah, Underneath the porch. Um, Under the porch. 
Under the porch, yeah. Where no one can fucking see. illegal drugs under the porch of the school property. <laughs> not illegal drugs. Well, <laughs> Chef wasn't allowed to get them. They're not illegal drugs. <laughs> I don't know anything about illegality for um, plant life, and um, if I do know the mushrooms, do I know the mushrooms effects? Uh, they're slightly hallucinogenic. Not like, you don't take them to go on a trip, but you add them to food to make them taste better than it is. That's just illusion magic, though. <laughs> well, you could say that about a lot of things. But in D&D, &D, would a hallucinogenic even be that interesting when all high elves can, like, casually do magic? Yeah, it's <laughs> man mainly a human drug. Elves go for the hard stuff. Like, uh... Goat fuel. Goat fuel. <laughs> Thank you for swooping in to finish that joke. Because <laughs> I didn't have anything. You have so many fantasy drugs in this world, though. I have two that I've made. One of them's called Everything. So. I am a. I'm <gasps> hanging. They're back. <laughs> Sorry, big follows is in chat. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Not again. <laughs> um I'm putting the stinger up on the up on the wall with the rest of my weapons. I don't I'm not going to really be able to bring it around the school because that'll I think raise some questions that I don't want to answer given the state we're currently in. Fair enough. Um actually before before turn goes to bed, I just want to grab him. I'm pretty tired tonight. I just want to go to bed. I'm sorry. I can go to bed. Oh. He, he's at the. Okay. Is your shoulder shivering? Boys, boys' room door closes. Cause that was cold. Boys' room. <laughs> boys' room vibe ain't too great tonight. I don't think. No, no, it's yeah. bad. The masturbation is gonna be very half-hearted. <laughs> yeah. The tea posting is very sad. <laughs> the tea posting is limp. <laughs> Just a little rancid in the boys' room. <laughs> it already has that in the smell. Girls room because of tether. <laughs> yeah, yeah, only only half of Shandy's swords get polished. Gives right. it halfway through. We all heading to bed, or yeah. mm -hmm. does anybody have anything they want to do? Or oh, I guess I should trance and wake up for a game with Johnson, <laughs> shouldn't I? You do have that board game you didn't finish last night. Yeah, I gotta keep hanging out with Johnson. Gotta get in good with the guards. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I'll go to bed. You, you wake up from your trance. Johnson is wide awake at his post now. Which probably means I'm going to go into my trance. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so you wake up. He's He's outside. Yeah, no, we're just playing board. the game. Yeah, he, Continuing he, where we left off. You, you both sit on either side of the door and you finish your board game tonight. Um, he trounces you, but, you know. Yeah, not exactly a strategy guy over here. But he seemed to have a really good time doing it. Wait, can I... Uh, if he's inside... He's not inside, because he's Evan's... sitting outside. No, I'm inside. Yeah. Okay, but, like... It, the layout of like the bathroom. Do you have to enter the living area before you go upstairs? You the, room, the bathroom is downstairs, so you have to down, go down into the living room and into the bathroom from there. Yeah, you have okay, windows because... on your second story. Oh yeah, so okay, you cool. Jump out of that, but I will make you make a check for that. No, I'll, I'll, no, because I have to go back in. So I'll just like climb into my our window. I was gonna do. I was gonna have, feel like I was gonna be like, I just use the bathroom in here. <laughs> It was very satisfying. <laughs> Either way, uh, 5 a.m. rolls around and uh, turn, you wake up. <sighs> Alright. Um, I want to pull a little makeshift bird feeder out of my bag and sort of oh. step out towards the front door. And I sort of open it and poke my head out. Um... So, well, you, you don't have to open the door because you see Septon and um, oh. Johnson sitting on either side of the door finishing up a board game. Okay. Oh, um, good morning. Morning. Uh, 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 good morning. Good morning. Sleep well? Uh, hi, actually, slept quite well. 
I'm just gonna step out and hang this on one of the trees out there if you don't mind. Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. Thank you. Sort of step over him. I just hang in a tree, throw some seeds up into it, and then I uh, step back around him in the house. Cool. Lean out a window, and I'm just doing some bird watching, throwing some seeds around, feeding some morning songbirds. What's everybody else up to? Sleeping. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> uh, what time are people waking up? Because Sheena does have her calisthenics if you want to join her. Oh, Seven. You know I'm going and then calisthenics. Yeah, I'm waking up for yeah. calisthenics. Yeah. I'm going to try for calisthenics again. Doing I'm calisthenics okay. again. All right. Oh, wait, everyone's going? Fine. <laughs> yeah. Got hey, that hey, FOMO. Hey, We're, still in the first <laughs> week. We're still in the first week of school. Hey, Johnson, do you see that little cardinal-looking like bird over there? The splash of red in its crest? Oh, yeah. That one's called a Pyroloxia. It's one of my favorites. Is it now? It's an interesting <laughs> name. Elvin? Hmm? That's an interesting name. Is it Elvin? Well, it's just the name of the bird. I mean, <laughs> yeah, like a board. I, yeah. I, uh, I, spent, I spent some years with, uh, with an... Elven tribe, a little southeast of here. Um, sounds familiar. Really? Yeah. Interesting. What? 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 What were you doing there? Well, it was sort of like an exchange program. Um, an elf what about my elf? age came and lived with my family, and I went and lived with an elven oh. family. It's <laughs> pretty funny. What? Uh, what was the? Who was the elf? What, what was the? <laughs> Never mind. Uh, sorry. No, 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 Don't his name worry was, about it. It was Thurstol. Was the was the last name? Uh, Interesting. It was the Thurstol family. You can make a history check on that if you want. I will. Do I get advantage for yeah. hating elves slash? I don't hate elves. Wait a minute. <laughs> what? Eleven. Eleven. Uh, the name rings a bell, but you're not sure from where. All right. That's interesting. Was it the Wood Elf? Yeah. Yeah, wood elves. It's a village of wood elves. <laughs> That's interesting. I, I spent some time in with a village of wood elves for a while as myself, so... Huh. Well, that's, I... that's nice. Uh, whereabouts? Um, the village was called Lun Ewenor. That... No way. That was the village that I went to. Th that's... <laughs> no way! <laughs> Why do you know it's a small world after all? It really is! <laughs> wow! Interesting. When were you there? <laughs> Why was I there? No, when? 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 Oh, when? Why, I guess? Let's see. Um, I Don't was there... Don't ask a time question. <laughs> <laughs> I was there... Let's see. I am... Um... How old is turn now? Turn. Do we say I was? Do we settle on twenty? Like we settled on younger than twenty, didn't we? I think we went for I think seventeen so. or 17 twenty-two to is the original. Yeah. Now it's like seventeen. Oh right, right, right. I I never adjusted the years. My backs were here. Um, I was there for a couple of years. I think I settled down probably around when I was fourteen. Uh, moved on just three, a little while ago. ago then? It's been about three years. I. Yeah, I was I was I was there five 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 or six years ago. Just, just miss you, man. That's so funny. That's remarkable. Do you, I guess, do you remember here then? Here. Pure Loxia. Since you took bird, a, no you a notice and the name, I. Was there an elf named? Was that the name I... of someone in the village? See, that's I knew it rang a bell somehow. Yeah. That's so interesting. Yeah, I, I, I can't say I, I, I knew that individual personally but yeah, i'm sure I, right. I ran into don't expect you to know everyone all right do you know any dwarves uh, unfortunately i don't know a ton of dwarves uh my my, my dad any... has a drinking buddy who's a dwarf oh <laughs> they're very good at drinking good do you know any other tieflings uh i mean a couple no close know... friends of mine oh uh, all right well that's wild. I, can't, I, I know. I, it's such a small. We'll have to. We'll have to. Uh, you know, grab a meal sometime and talk about the good times. Good times. Aye, you can catch up sometime. Yeah. 
but I don't want to keep you from calisthenics. Oh, right, right. Me. Well, uh... Well, I'm up how'd you both? I, I hope oh, you all had a good night. Um, didn't do anything. Uh, I know you didn't do anything crazy. Uh, I was here the whole time. Yes! Uh, okay. Good morning, Heather. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, well, good night. <laughs> or good morning, I suppose. Yeah. Sleepily heads off. That was a loud <laughs> one. So, so hungry, <laughs> <my stomach. laughs> <sighs> I played it off. <sighs> good, good job. I don't like remember that Johnson's first name is Willie. Nope. <laughs> Did you just Private Willie Johnson? Private Willie Johnson? I don't know his first name. I, I have it written down. I wrote it is down it this Willie? morning. It's something it's not... close to that. Oh, I what think is it, it might be William Johnson. Is it Richard? <laughs> no, is it, it is. It's, le it's legitimately William Johnson. I wrote that down earlier. <laughs> Private Willie Johnson. Private Willie Johnson. Private Willie Johnson. No! <laughs> Is his middle name Richard? It's, uh, I have a Private Willie Dick Johnson. Private <laughs> Willie Dick Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I didn't think of that. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I wrote down. His name is William Johnson. Oh, yes. he's my new hero. <laughs> um, during that whole conversation, Shanti left because he wanted to get the calisthenics early. By the way, <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> well, uh, you, make it, um, you make it there pretty early, um, and you see Brahm and Sheena having a friendly conversation while stretching. Um, mm -hmm. Sheena and Brahm both in their armor. In fact, now that you think about it, you haven't seen either of them out of their armor ever. Um, was was. Brahm? No, okay, it wasn't it wasn't Brahm X Sheena. Oh yeah, wait, wait. It was Brahm and um Brahm and, Brahm and your academics professor the other have one. a Brahm X Elitha is canon. Okay, well that's not necessarily <laughs> um, true. But you know that they're they know each other before and Colro wouldn't mention why. Uh, so is what's their couple named? Would it be Brelitha? Bretha? I mean, no. or they, have last, El they have last names El too. Elam? You want those? I think right, Belitha. Like Belitha? When you, yeah, okay. Not Brelitha? Maybe Brelitha. Brelitha. Yeah, make it happen. Shippers of the world. I'm like, I don't know. Make it happen. <laughs> Somebody draw some Brelitha fan art. <laughs> <clears throat> so, um, good morning. Oh, uh, uh, welcome. Uh, she is going to take good care of you today. And uh, just so you know, our tactics class is not going to be meeting in sparring arena we're going to be meeting in one of the towers uh one of the tower classrooms so Sparring try to get like in as much time. exercise as you can now because we're not going to be doing any during class okay all right um, i exercise my heart out sheena sort of gives you guys yet another cold glare because she's still not forgiven you for breaking her precious rules um um, but sooner or later, a bunch of the guards show up, uh, as well as Nalere, the half-elven girl from, who works in the, the mess hall. Uh, she shows up as well, uh, to do calisthenics. Gives, gives a glance to Septim, um, and sort of... Is it like a... Not, not like a suggestive glance, but she knows him, so she sort of gives him, like, a nod. Um, Septim goes, Hey! <laughs> <laughs> no subtlety. <laughs> she goes, <laughs> hi. <laughs> and then ignores you and starts talking to some of the guards. Um, yeah, and I mean, it's the same as it was the day before. It's a, uh, it's laps around the, um, oh. around the lake. So everybody make a next check for me. My favorite. Um, I'm going to like whisper to Tether and be like, so, so when you're out, it turns out you're not actually out. Um, you, you, you still keep running. You, you're apparently not supposed to just, like, walk away. Okay, I, I think I got this. I rolled a flaccid one. I rolled a six, so I'm not doing that better myself. I rolled a nine. A I seven. A, I rolled a nine! <laughs> you guys did so bad. I guess it Listen. makes sense, because you were out last night getting the shit kicked out of you, so... Right. Uh, you're I do like very I do three steps and just have to double down. <laughs> Tether doesn't make it like more than a yard before she's like, 
Um, the rest also, it of you seems make like it everything like, we have went to Dex, so... <laughs> you, you make it, like, halfway around the, uh, the lake one time before you're all just winded. Like, your wounds, though healed, are aching pretty bad. Um, oh, no. you, you just can't make it. Um, and as you, as you go around, as you get lapped by Sheena, um, who scoffs at you, um, Brom comes up behind her and, like, starts jogging places. He's like, you all right? Uh, you did much better than this the other day. Uh, we ate too much fried whale last night. Mm. You gotta be careful with some of Chef's more <coughs> heavy delicacies. Oh, well. Yeah, I forgot about John Favreau. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, eh, best of luck. Good thing we're not doing workouts today, because oh, I wouldn't go easy on you. And he runs away. Um, yeah, the guards, you get whacked by guards instantly. Um, and you probably don't make it more than once around the lake in the entirety of Calisthenics before before people cool. call it quits. Uh, so you have about half an hour to get breakfast before tactics class. Can I just say Tether ends with, like, the thing, like, runners do like, in cross-country when they're, like, so tired, but they don't want to be seen walking, or they, like, do the running, but it's like, you're going like... <laughs> Dude, that was me in cross country every single time. Did you guys know I was the captain of my middle school cross country team? Because I got in last place every race, but I never quit. So they're like, he's a good example. <laughs> Let's make him team captain. <laughs> Claps in the chat. That is a... I mean... I got second to last on my, on, my right final, on my final race of eighth grade. I got second to last, and it was a huge event. Everybody was so excited for me. I, mean, I feel like that happens a I lot think where I got last. Just I feel like that happens a lot where like just showing up and like on time and not quitting like wins more favor than being good. Well, no, yeah, it was me and this kid Eric who were co-captains, and he was like the star of the cross country team, so he was captain for that reason. And I was captain because even though I was so bad at it, I would show up and be like, "Yeah, guys, let's go for a run!" Like. <laughs> It was great. Anyway, yeah, I know exactly exactly what you're talking about, Michael. I did it every race, but it barely makes it through. So yeah, you have a half an hour before class. Anything you want to do? Well, I suppose I'll get breakfast and then go to class. Yeah, easy enough to get breakfast. Um, I'll, I'll get some. When Chef sees you in there, Septon, he um, uh, slides you an extra glass of milk. You can use it! Skin and bones. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna see. Is there, is there a moment when I can get the chef alone, yeah. or is he, yeah. um, is he, like, is there, a, are there too many people? Like the chef is very alone. Side. Now it's just you and me, big boy. So <laughs> no, no, no. The chef is so lonely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got an oven for that loaf of bread, if you know. <laughs> what I mean. I don't even think I want to cook and good looking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to get milk. Looks he like sucks, meat's dude. back on the map. I'd like to be full. <laughs> we're, done with, we're done with Dungeon Party. We're never playing D&D again. It's never happened. <laughs> alright, alright. No, no. Where's... Chef, I can, I mean, I chef is like sort of can't... in the kitchen, but you can make your way over to him. Hey, Chef. Um, if I had some ingredients to drop off, when would I... When would uh, a good time for that be? You got them? <laughs> uh, only, only four, but uh. Hey, that's enough for a shot. <laughs> yeah, I don't know quite what you need them for, but uh. I gotta spice up the flavor, you know what I mean? It's a rare ingredient you don't get to cook with it often. When would you like them uh, dropped off? I assume when the mess hall is busy is not a great idea. Yeah, probably not. Come, come around uh, closing time, near your curfew. Drop them off then, and I'll, uh, I'll get you a little something. Um, I'll try to do that. If I'm not by today, I'll be by tomorrow. Hey man, no rush. All right. Sounds good. I'll go back to the table, my friends. Cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty basic breakfast. It's tasty. It's, like, it's, it's, it's very basic, but it's very well made. Like, the food here is, is all top notch. I'm making sure none of the spores get in your food. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. Do you have spores like all the time? Yeah, I, I originally I thought like circle of spores like only when you do symbiotic energy, but no, you just have a halo of spores ten feet around you constantly. Ten feet. It's not like something you turn. It's not something you turn on and off. Ten feet around you is not just the person next to you, but the person next to them. 
<laughs> I, it's all of us. Are we talking, are we talking radius or diameter? Uh, uh, I don't think anything in D D goes by diameter. Something. Yeah. Okay. And it's I can love. needlessly confusing, but I think this is a pantal radius. Yeah. Well, you're very dusty. There's spore covered little morsel. But you can control the spores, so you, you do. You can make sure that they don't. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I'll say if you want to, like for like RP's sake, you can bring the spores back under your mushroom cap. It's just a concert. Like it's a concerted effort. It's like tensing your. It's like clenching your butt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like same same. Okay. It's actually. Oh, I also say, they only look oh, like those they only look like weird. Um, no. It only looks like gross when I do like the like the symbiotic entity. I'd say like they're almost like invisible, but they're kind of like maybe even twinkly. Yeah, there's like I don't know. Do you keep to control the spores? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm ready so for tactics class. Head your way over to class. So you make your way up into the tower, um, and you find not the same classroom, um, where you had your academics class, but a similar one, it's just a couple of floors up, um, where Brum, ha still in his armor, always in his armor, um, has on a oh, large table spread out an aged battle map. Um, he's sort of placing small wooden bits and bobs that are painted red and green, um, and another smaller section is painted blue on the map. He says, oh yeah, uh, come on in. Just gather around the table. Um, so... I, uh, have a responsibility as your tactics professor, or teacher, whatever the word is for it, that, uh, to teach you actual tactics as well as war and battle strategy, uh, in addition to, you know, your training. But you'll be relieved to hear that indoor study-heavy tactical classes will be heavily outweighed by our practical ones. Uh, my number one job is to get you into fighting shape, but uh, part of that is getting your brain into fighting shape as well. Clear? Yes, sir. Um, cool. Well, uh, today, I guess we're going to be talking about um, the Battle of Broken Antlers. Is anybody familiar with the Battle of the Broken Antlers? Are you talking about when two bucks um, fight over territory? Mm, no. Should we You can make a history check if you want. Part of elven or dwarven history? Yes. <laughs> 21 for me. No. Three. Five. I have no idea. Fifteen. Don't think I know. Okay. So wait, can you all say your numbers again? Because I wasn't paying attention because I was talking about Eulenberg standing all in the chat. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen. Five. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. I didn't roll. Makes sense. Um, welcome, Harrison. Um, so, Sean D, you absolutely know about the uh, War of the Broken Antlers. It was the um, often quoted turning point of the, or the Battle of the Broken Antlers was the turning point of the War of the Beasts, which is the war in which a resistance called the Res Renarsian Resistance, which is where this continent's name comes from, uh, drove back the Valhenshi regime, which was the elven empire that spread entirely across the country way back in the age of the blade. Yeah. So, like, thousands of years ago. Um, yeah. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> so, yeah, is anybody familiar with that? Please don't just parrot it back at me, what I just said to you, but, you know. Of course. Uh, I mean, anybody with uh, a solid head on their shoulders should know about the Battle of Broken Antlers. Huh. Yeah, anyone with a solid head on their shoulders. Anyone else know? Not really, I mean, I haven't really studied <laughs> much history. I'm sorry. Oh no, don't, don't, uh, that wasn't my assertion, that was your classmates. Uh, it's ancient oh, history, history, but it is important ancient history. Um, as, you know, our, our founder, Lord Casimir Orion always says history is pretty much the most important thing to know. Um, history is his story. I suppose it is. Uh, in this case, it's the story of Francis Fredrickson routing the 
Francis. Francis Fredrickson routing the, uh, the Valhenshi military by using their own strength against them. So, uh, and he sort of starts moving things around on the, on the battle map. Uh, the Valhenshi had a massive occupying force um, in a town that, well, after this fight, no longer exists, but was simply known as Haven at the time. Um, and this is, on the map, it's sort of over towards the um, west side of the continent, so the opposite of it, where you are right now. Um, the uh, the general of this occupying force was the Valhenshi's greatest and most shrewd general, Ilfor Valorant who was thought to be unkillable until today. Francis Fredrickson made his way up into Skembra and got a group of, I guess the best word to say it is, vicious and bloodthirsty Skembran battle ragers uh, to chase him back, chase him and his small force of illusion mages back down into town. Um, using the Valhenshi's obvious might and the battle ragers, well, lust for battle and yearning for creating a legend for himself, as well as a little bit of illusion here and there, Francis Fredrickson was able to, with a group of 300 men, rout an army of 3,000. Uh, and not only that, but kill the general Ilfor Valorant. Um, as this explanation is happening, you hear the door open uh, to, your, to your classroom. Um, and y'all look over briefly, and you see a human woman uh, a conservative, conservatively dressed, bespectacled human woman with black wavy hair worn half up and half down um, enter the room and look on with just obvious distaste. Um, Brom, like, looks over at her and then just sort of furrows his brow, shakes his head, and turns back to you and continues his explanation. Um, but as he does so, she begins to, like, vocally scoff um, at the things that he says. Um, he's not hes not exactly the most, you know, academic of lecturers. So he's, he's talking to you very casually, and every time he says something, well, he says an uh or a but, she scoffs a little bit. Um, after, like, three or four of these, he puts his hand sharply down on the table and says, well, if you'll excuse me, I'm trying to teach a class here. So, um, but before he can say anything else, she pull, pulls from her pocket... Maybe the most beautiful object any of you have ever <coughs> seen. Um, it is a card. A shimmering, beautiful, shining card that is bursting with magic. It's adorned with a shimmering three-dimensional image of a chariot. And upon seeing this, Brahm immediately just clams up. Um, she steps forward and says, And you're teaching a class poorly. My name is Relme Duville Cairn acting headmaster of Felfred College and the head of the Board of Collegiate Excellence. Not only that, but a card-carrying member of the Exensort Elysium. So, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Brom Kusmal, but I'd like to have a word with your students. Brom says, Be my guest, ma'am. Takes a step back. She steps towards you, crosses her arms, and just sighs. So you're the best of the best, then. Um, no, um, at least for me, I'm lower than dirt, specifically. That's What's just the... What... Oh, you can go, sorry. That's just what we're told. <laughs> well, somebody's been lying to you. I've had nothing but reports of disaster, chaos, and disruption from this place in the, what, two, three days it's been open. Some rats on the inaugural festivity, a broken curfew instantly. Uh, not only that, but one of my, one of my students, Uwe Frelfrit, and the son of one of our biggest donors, has reported being egged not once, but twice by the students here. Put your hand down. I just had a question. I don't have an answer for the likes of you. I just don't know what the excess torta digium is. <laughs> Make a wisdom so, saving throw. What? Make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. At least that's decent for me. 22. Nope. The silent spell does not work on you. I just, um, I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. 
she looks frustrated, but then turns turns back to you. Do you have any explanations for these goings on? Uh, a rat, you said? Yes, a rat during the banquet. Guys, Was it company, good? I'm I told didn't... by quite a bit of giggling from the students' table. I didn't. I didn't see a rat. Did Make you guys see check. a rat? Um, I left the banquet, so I didn't see anything at all. Eighteen. She uh, is very suspicious of you, Una. She knows you're not telling the truth, but she can't place her finger on why. This broken curve. Tether, for me, as she's talking, Tether's going to turn the turn. Do you know what the turtle is? Torta is. Um, I'll excuse tortellini. you to not talk while I'm talking. I'm sorry you didn't answer my question, so I was going to ask. Your question won't be answered because it's an imbecilic one. What? It means be quiet and only speak when spoken to. Okay. Good. What could a possible reason? breaking your curfew, the first night being here, and wandering into Forbidden Woods B. Anyone have answers for that? Yes. Um, she very annoyedly points at you. Um, I like trees. <laughs> like, literally hands, face and hands, just like rubbing her temples. They're really nice. We didn't have a curfew when we wandered into the woods. It was only after we wandered into the woods Listen. that we got our curfew. Frankly, I don't really know why <laughs> everyone's so concerned about such a silly thing like a curfew here either. I'm not sure either. But um, Moneybags Casimir Orion has dumped millions and millions of gold into this program for your five children. There has to be a reason why. I just thought I'd come and introduce myself to you, as I'll be keeping an eye on you, as not only the headmaster of Felford College. <laughs> Is that Johnson? <laughs> Johnson's <laughs> doing donuts outside. <laughs> Uh, as not only uh, the the head the uh, uh, member of the Excellent Sword Legion, but also the headmaster of Felfrit College, an institution whom, whose students you have already robbed in your brief tenure at this sham of an educational facility. We have. Stay in I'm line. I'm not sure what you're talking about. I will shut this place down. Are we clear? You have the authority to do that. I have the authority to do much more than just that, Demon Spawn. I'm we go, will uh, be seeing each other. And she turns can I try to and leaves. Wait, can I try to tilt the path into her head? Yeah, go for it. Does it oh, okay. Uh, in the demon voice, um, <laughs> I'm just gonna say... <laughs> What have you said to my child? Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Yeah. <laughs> um, make an intelligence saving throw, Chelsea. Oh no, oh no. Okay. What? Oh, that, that's intelligence. 15. 15. Six points of psychic damage as the voice is echoed back to you. Cool. And if it makes like, your friend your feel brain. better, if it makes your friend feel better, egg is really good for the hair. I don't know who threw the egg at him, but I think his egg, his hair is probably better now. She's already gone. She, she turned tail and left. You think she hurt me? Uh, who cares? When people start talking like that, I just tune them out. Like, I honestly don't know about half of what she said to us. I didn't understand a thing. I kept asking because I didn't understand. Now, uh, normally, turn, I'd agree with. Unfortunately, she is a member of the most powerful group in the world. They... And what's that? It's called the Extant Sword of Ligia. Oh. Yeah, it's, um, it's a group of spellcasters, wizards, sorcerers, 
those warlocks who have climbed the ranks of excellence and now hold counsel over not only all the governments of the world, but pretty much all of its goings on. And, pretty famously, do not support this program. Well, I'd keep an eye out for her if I were you. Well, if she came to talk to us, we must be doing something right, catching their attention. <laughs> or very, very wrong. But in my experience, that often tends to be the same thing. Uh, problem you said they don't. They're not in favor of the program? No, they do not like this. Not Why like not? Aren't we creating heroes or something? They don't like that. They think heroes need to come about naturally. They think the process of creating heroes is either unnatural or there must be some sort of ulterior motive. Oh, well, they just don't understand. You just let them know that I naturally found this place. <laughs> They're not too keen on listening often. I mean, I'm pretty natural. Some of them are... Uh, I think many would argue the opposite <laughs> for you there, Tether. But, um... Yeah, I, uh... I'd watch out for them. Uh, every, every, every now and again you find a member of the Sword of Lygium that's pretty pleasant, but, uh... Most of my experiences with them have been... Well... Mages high off their own supply, you know? Never trust a mage, got it. That's not, uh, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> I know, I'm just telling a joke. Okay, well, I don't want to be very clear on that. Um, well, I mean, I don't feel like teaching you anymore. That sucked for me, so class dismissed, I suppose. I was enjoying the lecture, Brom, but yeah, it's all right, we'll, I'll take the day off. We'll pick it up another time. Uh, I hear you guys have a big project due tomorrow for, um, for Elitha. Yeah, and I definitely finished it, and I definitely understood everything you were saying, and it was good. Well, you got another day to work on it, so um, oh, use that shit. time wisely. Right. Right, the project. Yeah, I forgot about the project, guys. Okay, do well, tomorrow, so. Well, uh, I'll leave you to it. I'm gonna go uh, probably drink. That really, that, that wasn't fun for me, so. See ya. All right, have a good time. Are you going to drink the lake water? I haven't tried it yet. No, alcohol. I'm going to drink alcohol. Okay. See you around. He sort of clangs out of the class. There well. Well, I think we found our solution. To what? He said, if there's an enemy you can't fight, or if you got a crazy enemy that's going to chase you, just lead it into another problem. What if she's the one picking up Elias? No, I'm saying we go piss off the crazy lady and lead her back to the lead school. Her straight what back I, I into know, the group. but what if she's the one? No, that's an incredible off. idea. <laughs> it's not a good idea. It's a really bad idea. <laughs> it's the best idea I've heard all guys, day. Guys, don't. Maybe not. Wait, no, 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 not the, not that lady. I mean, like, Who else? we go Girl. find. The, no, we Remember go find the rock. Now? We go find the rock kicking lady. Right. We piss her off, and we get her to chase us all the way back to the school. No. Like, no. Then, as we're running, she kicks rocks at us. We let Brom <laughs> deal with her. Which and, and put all the other students in danger. Okay, good. You're what other students? students? You're the only students. No. <laughs> no, but no, there's the other mages. As yeah, well, they, they, don't, they don't go here. They just come here sometimes. Listen, it was just explained to us that those other mages do not like us. No, the that doesn't sort of mean legion. we put them... That doesn't mean we give them a death sentence. It's not a, like a death sentence. I'm death sorry. Not. Did you guys not see the wall get blown out? Listen, I, I, didn't I, see it. I didn't actually see it. Definitely but... saw that. I I definitely saw that. <laughs> Here's um, the thing. If turn we, right if we try to outrun that massive rock of a woman, I feel like we are going to be dead before we get back. Rocks are pretty slow. Mm. And heavy. No, but she's we fast. I, no, Una, Una's she right. Una's right. Una's right. Boots. Listen, if you're not well and take an entire rock wall to the face for your friends, what good are you? I'm inclined to agree with Una on this one. <laughs> Una's right. It's probably not a great idea, but I feel probably. like that's why Brom told us that story. So then what? Do we bring... He didn't know? In instead, it, do we bring one of the stop. teachers with us? 
I think Are you saying we piss off we one of the teachers and make them chase us? No, I say we I think we choose very us. carefully which teacher to tell. Who? What I if don't know. I'm pros, posing that to the group. What if as we leave, we're like, yo, Sheena, we're going into the forest. So he brings the whole car with us and we show up with an army like in the story. <laughs> I'm glad you are paying so much attention in class. Well, it's a good yeah, idea, except Septon, is, Septon is convinced Brom, <laughs> like, provided this solution on purpose. I'm with you, Septon. I think we should just okay, lure I'm... the whole dang school out to that to tower. I'm still in favor of doing a small investigation here first. Find out if we can get a little bit more information on what could be going on here in regards to Elias. I have a bad feeling that horrible mass of a person, um, that I forget her name, but... Pell. Pell? Pell. P-E-L. No, 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 sorry. The one who, the one who was just here. Velmi? Oh, Relme du Vilcairn. Relme. Yeah. <laughs> I got Velmi. She, she was distinctly Celosian much you guys know, which is odd, because Salos and Zymor are at severe odds at all times. Got you. So, um, so you don't like her? No. Contact at the college. So listen, we also... But, maybe... but what I mean is... So I what else know. do we know? We know that somehow uh, Mel was able to mess with the training swords before we got there. We know... On top of that, that um, Kerf Kerfli, the groundskeeper, said that he didn't put the training swords out there. So sometime after that, and sometime before we were training, they got switched. But unless Mel was somehow invisible, then someone else must have switched the swords. So who was at the training grounds that morning when we got there? Is anyone there? It seemed like there shouldn't be. Because I can okay. think of one. Guys, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm going to interrupt, but my arms hurt. Oh, oh, sorry. Tether, go ahead. Uh, thanks. Um, we we know that someone they have a they have they have um a contact inside the school, and um they're gonna meet tonight to do like an exchange or something. So what if we wait and see um, if we can figure out the person who leaves in order to go to the exchange? That person is the person who is the contact, and then we can then we have the pick of the litter of telling everyone else who's not of the contact. That's true. I, are we planning on breaking the curfew to keep an eye out on the grounds? Well, I think we broke it pretty much every time night. Well, I'm here. just making sure. This time we would, we're not leaving though, so we'd be sneaking around inside the walls of the college, university, estate. private school, estate. <laughs> they tend to call Ever. it, a short hand, they tend to call it the estate. The facilities. <laughs> I like that. It's the more information we can gather, the better. I'll also talk to Ellie if I can find her from the library, see if I can figure out what exactly they want to know. Sure. Wait, Elias? No, no uh, there's a, no, there's a, the scholar who told me about um, the stag. Uh, Eleanor, she, the nasal, oh. the nasal girl, yeah. Okay. Um, so, um, if we combine some plans, we have the plan of bringing an army by pissing off um, one of our authority, authority figures. I, I am not excited for that, but we also have the one of trying to figure out who the contact is. And then once we know that, then we're free to tell whoever else we want. Yeah. Very well. All right, I guess we'll wait until tonight and sneaking out again. 
in the meantime, I expect everybody to get a head start on their projects. They're due tomorrow, remember? <laughs> oh, right, the project. I almost forgot. To Mine's almost done, so if you need help, just let me know. Oh my gosh, I have to call my parents. There's a mage that was brought to campus today for you to do that, yeah? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh god, I can't keep writing that. <laughs> Shandy, I could use some help. Shandy. 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 <laughs> what did I say? You said Shandy. It's Shandy. Shandy. Oh, Shandy. I still have to work from the hero. Summertime, didn't I, Shandy. Didn't, didn't I help you last night, Tether? <laughs> no, you didn't. You said fuck off last night. <laughs> I thought I provided some assistance. No. <laughs> You're just like, wait, this was Una's job. Why did I get roped into it? <laughs> and you said, so you said no. But you were busy then, but you said, just said you weren't anymore. I'm going to try and focus on my schoolwork, but I'm probably definitely going to get distracted with like a comic or some book. Maybe I'll keep reading the story about Tilvea, the name of the elf who became a goblin and learned that the goblins live little lives and they're people too. Okay. This book? It's the book that's held up during the Tifo ceremony. Oh, no. <laughs> um, regardless, you um as you all make your way across the bridge to the library, we sort of zoom out as dark clouds begin to gather over Hagen Estate. And that is where we will end today's uh, uh, session of... Wait, is this an origin story of Hagen Dazs? Yes. It is. I'm I surprised that joke didn't happen before now. We're three sessions in. That's the first Hagen Dazs joke. I thought it was just Hogwarts. No. But no, it was. Hog well, it's named state. after the fucking Hage village from Black Clover, because I'm like, what should I name this place? Hog Hagen, whatever. Um, but Hagen Estate, as you whoosh, zoom out, that is the end of session number three. Thank you guys so much for playing. I'm excited for.